Welcome to Knights of Roleplay, an adventuring podcast. This is an actual play Dungeons and Dragons podcast. Royalty free music provided by Kevin McLeod, Michael Gelfi Studios, Plate Mill Games, and Tabletop Audio. And now, to adventure. Hello, listeners. Thank you for joining us for this episode of Nights of Roleplay. I'm DM Chris. We are continuing with Cult of the Cave Crickets, and we have a returning guest, my good friend Kyle. Everyone say hi, Kyle. Hi, hi Kyle. Kyle. Yeah. How's it going? <laughs> He's like, oh my god. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, it's got issues. Uh, <laughs> be advised, some of the scenes depicted in this horror adventure are graphic in nature. Uh, our group of adventurers consists of Riki, a kobold fighter, Quinn, an elf warlock, Jin, a human fighter warlock, and Wit, a kanku sorcerer. And we'll find out about what Kyle's going to play in just a minute. Uh, as our adventure begins, your group has been employed by Professor Barnabas Ward, Professor of Law and Jurisprudence at the Blackwood College of Ancient Mysteries, to find the rest of his expedition. The expedition had set out to find a fallen star along the edge of the known world before encountering a fierce snowstorm at their camp. They fled into the nearby caves, were attacked by unseen monsters, and then scattered. Upon your arrival, you investigated the remains of the camp and found three bodies along with hieroglyphs describing Mycelorax, the great fungal lord. You found evidence of large cricket-like creatures and eventually found yourselves exploring the caves. After almost being devoured by a mossy bog, while cricket creatures threw rocks at your heads, you used ranged attacks to destroy horrific creatures that were trying to break through a barricade on the opposite side of a river that runs through the cave system. Behind the barricade were three survivors, uh, two, (laughs) uh, were three survivors of the expedition. Um, uh, the two women who, despite their bloodshot eyes and many cuts and bruises, smiled broadly in excitement and disbelief uh, when they approached you from the opposite side of the river. They used uh, parts of the barricade to build a makeshift bridge. And that's where we resume our story. So let me get to the right page here. While you're doing that, I just want to say I love how happy you are when you give the warning that this... This adventure may have some graphic content. <laughs> Do I seem happy when I say that? Happy when Viewer you discretion is advised. <laughs> Listener discretion is advised. Oh, it's viewer. Okay. No. Uh, so one of the women says, I'm, I'm Professor Octavia Redgrave. This is Professor uh, Serafina Lestrange. Our, our expedition retreated to the caves during the uh, snowstorm where we were suddenly attacked by, by fungal monstrosities. Uh, we scattered. Some on the expedition ran back toward the surface while others ran still deeper into the caves. I I don't know where the rest of the expedition may be, nor if they are even alive. Uh, There is a guard in the chamber where we were barricaded. Um, He's he's injured. Um, How did you you get here? How did you find us? We were sent here by Professor Ward. He found us on the road as he was heading towards a nearby, nearby village and asked us to... Barnabas survived? He did. He asked us to find oh, the whereabouts. Thank goodness. Barnabas, 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 Barnabas. Oh. <laughs> so we have that. This now accounts for, and I look at the list. Uh, seven of you that we have found, although you you three are the only survivors thus far. Okay. Is is Rowan's name on it? Yes. It is. It is. Okay. So Kyle, you can, yeah. you can come out of the cave. Um, I mean, yeah. you're injured, and you're you were sort of um, like in there trying to uh, catch your breath, and you have this injury on your back. Again, you can play it up as little or as much as you want um, but but the, the woman that you were protecting when you got injured um, they just went outside the barricade and they're talking with this group so you mm-hmm. come in whenever you want to come in <laughs> Professors? Professors? Oh where? yes, yes, Rowan, Rowan please come here, Rowan Is it safe? Where, where, why did you go out? Yes, yes, it, it, it is safe please come out Oh, hello there Greetings Fungal monster! I draw my bow. Greetings. Oh. Greetings. Is it, you? is it getting worse? Calm down. <laughs> I, Ricky wonders if you're still you. I believe I am still me. Yeah. Are you, it, it Ricky's just, not sure. It kind of burns and itches and kind of feels good and bad at the same time. <laughs> mm. um, kind of like scary ladies wrapped. To the, okay. whisper, to the whispering armor, I... It, the nature of this injury. Can you tell me anything about it? Could he be cured? He 
fungus, fungus, bad. He need need attention. What kind of attention? Like probably special. He he special magic. He. he. Oh boy. Ricky thinks we should just burn it out. <sighs> Well, first, we, we, we should debride it. Maybe I can I, burn it. I can burn it. Scrape it. You can scrape it really good and get most of it out. I can, I, I can, I can, I can heal it with, with my I'm magic. Not, I'm not trained in restoration magic. That is not my field. Perhaps you should put some cream on it. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it would definitely help. But, but uh, first, I would like to... Put some cream on it. Put some cream on first. it. <laughs> <laughs> Let fungus lady do it. I'm not touching it. He's not touching that. Can fungus I lady? Oh, bring this up. oh, yes. You so. must know about fungus. <laughs> <laughs> or at least yep. I'm not as... Uh, Scared of it as the others. Very well. I would like to get it off if you could help. <laughs> Just, can we... I, I don't. I'm assuming there is there any way for me to scrape, or I, I'm guessing there's not much. Uh, basically, yeah. I mean, they, they gave you a healing potion, Kyle. Um, okay. And 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 it healed you, so so you're able to heal like normal. Okay. Uh, as far as as far as the fungal infection that that's in the wound, you you probably have to use some sort of magic. Like lesser restoration, greater restoration. Something like that, yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah I, just, just, I, I think that just would be medicating knowledge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just scraping yeah. it out. Well, I wouldn't like be that. the one who would have that knowledge. He probably would, because he's the yeah. cleric. So, so. But yeah, but you're, uh, so your your character <laughs> is a um, is a war cleric, Kyle. Is that right? Correct. Okay. Um, <laughs> are, you, are you human? Yes. Okay, human war cleric. Okay, and you have yeah. this wound on your back. Yep. Um, you probably don't. You're second level, so you probably don't have like. Lesser restoration, I would assume? No. Okay. Yeah. Does anyone have a mirror? Um. Do you guys have a mirror? No. Ricky doesn't need a mirror. He knows so. he's gorgeous. <laughs> I mean, you probably I mean, haven't seen it, Kyle, because it's on your back. Kit, so. right? That's right. I would like to examine this. I just, I <laughs> use my medical skills green. to figure out if I, can, I have a mirror, actually. And fungal. You do? Yes. Bring it here. There and you go. go. What's the light source here? Um, torches. Yeah, we just got torches. torches. Yeah. Yep. And so uh, hold it. And, like, I got my a torch. impressive right. dark vision. So I check it. I use the mirror and and have a torch brought over and okay. and check out and see like what I, what do I think of that? Are you using uh, medicine? Medicine. Okay. Yeah. So I got a sixteen. A sixteen. Okay. Um, oh sweet torch. It's it, it's unlike anything you've ever seen. You've never seen anything like this. You've never really heard of anything like this. This is unlike anything I've ever seen. I've never <laughs> heard of anything like this. You have never seen anything like this. I've never seen. Never it seen it. Anything. Never seen it. <laughs> this is not good. So, so your assumption would be that you'd have to use some magic, like less restoration, cure disease, something like that, to get rid of it. We unfortunately do not have a healer in our party. Wow. What's gonna be looking at you, like looking at your back, like <laughs> <laughs> the gimbal head? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's well, a, it, nothing to do but you. I don't see any bugs. No, no bugs. No bugs. I might be able to learn more if, yeah. if after I rest and, and pray to to Torm, but right now I can't do anything about it. It doesn't seem to be impeding me too much. Every once in a while, oh, oh, there it goes. <laughs> I can feel it rolling down my back. Is this? What, Bring the mirror. Is it blood or is it? Oh, it's clear. Ew. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty gross. That looks not good. Uh, my back is getting very. Looks moist. not good. <laughs> kind of so, gross. Kind of gross. So the, uh, so, so the module says, Rowan has sustained a significant wound to their back, resulting in deep lines of fungal infection that have spread over their body. Oh, <laughs> that's no. what it says. <laughs> Oh, is it, wait, what's that red line you, on my arm? So you're is that saying you don't from, oh, no. normally have green yeah. lines on your no. arms or your shoulders or no, your neck? This is bad. We need to get out of here. Yeah. <laughs> Ricky re- re- actually agrees with that. Let's get out of here. Um, you said the cave system does go deeper? Uh, you're talking to Professor Redgrave? Uh, no, I'm, I'm asking DM what we're seeing. Uh, yeah, the, we, the, the passage that you came from had two passages that went to the west. That there was a more northern western passage and a southern western passage. Okay, but this one's more of a dead. But this one's kind of a dead end. This right is now. a dead end. Okay, yeah, so we got to go yeah, back to the other. Yeah, path. basically, you got the river right here. You guys came across the river, and there's mm-hmm. and there's a dead end room where the women and 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 Rowan were hanging out. And then you got to go back over the river, and then go back into the into the caves, caves yeah. proper. Yeah, take yeah the other the other direction that we didn't take that had the weird. There's there's two different directions you can go. 
Uh, no, that's right. We want the direction that had the weird banging sound. Correct. And that's what we found. Correct. Right. Yes, okay. the, the place where the, the bugs are banging on the door. The bugs are banging on the door. <laughs> there was the passage that had the curtain of moss that turned, that wrapped around Kate's character. Right. That, that passage goes to the west. Right. And you guys can, and just about 15 feet north of that is another passage to the west. That one is choked full of like mycelium webbing. Um, it's not impassable. But okay. but it definitely has like a whole lot of. It looks like it would be slow going to get through that passage because it's almost like you know covered in spider webs. <clears throat> but it's just mycelium and there's moss and all this okay. stuff. Uh, R- Ricky uh. thinks that since we've found survivors, we should probably get them out of the caves I would agree. and then come back to. Uh, you are welcome look, to continue with us if you want, since it seems you are ready for combat. But for the others, would we like to get them to a safe road away from the campsite so they can follow? Professor Ward, to, to safety. I agree that my job is to make sure that they're secure. But professors? Um, Professor Redgrave says, are, are, there, are, there, are, there more, are there more of these um, creatures outside the caves? Yes. I mean, there, oh. there, there may be. We saw crickets mm. through the crack in the roof. How about, how about we just stay in this room? How about, how about we, just, we just stay here and, and you go explore and try to find more survivors and we, we will stay in this room? Mm. Right. You need to barricade By yourselves in so you can be safe. Perhaps you'd be safer with us? We, we can set up the barricade. I, I would we worry about so. that given the nature of some of the intacts we've, we've encountered. If so we far. disassemble the barricade, like we just put it back together, then there won't be any way to get across the river. and We can, um, we can put it back up. Since room has no other exits to the room, we can just barricade the door we came in. Mm-hmm. Well, don't we need to go back that way to get to... Well, obviously, after we leave, yeah. Okay. <laughs> the, I mean, the module yeah. says that they can stay in that room. Okay. I know you guys are trying to RP it, but I'm just telling you, the module okay. says they can stay in there. Okay. Okay. I have a holy feeling that it's okay for you to stay in <laughs> <laughs> I have a Tor- message from God. Okay. Tor- no. Jeff Demers <laughs> says it's okay for you to stay in that room. Oh, yeah. I should definitely leave. <laughs> <laughs> Bum, Ricky bum, is a bum, little bum. distrustful of gods, but um, so, he's in a hurry. So, <laughs> Professor, uh, the other woman, Professor, Professor Lestrange, uh, she takes out this this little piece of um, of what looks like 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 crystal or something like that, and she explains that um, that it's the only sliver of ore they could pick off the meteor, and it was too hard to break with a simple pick and hammer. Mm-hmm. Um, she has observed that this shard of meteor exhibits um, odd properties. There's a crack in the blade, and when one looks through it, the world seems a bit clearer, as though the gauze of reality has been parted. She recounts that when looking through the blade at the meteor itself, she thought she could see an odd cluster of fungal tendrils growing from the center of the fallen star. So when she looked through the shard, or the basically, yeah. it's, it's sort of like, it's sort of like a dagger. She has it wrapped. She has the the bottom okay. part of it wrapped in leather, so it makes right. like this dagger, and it's a shard from the meteor. Okay. And there's a crack in it. And when she looks through the crack, right. things like she can see all kinds of interesting things right. when she looks at the crack. Jin steps forward to take it. That's right up her alley. She has like twenty daggers on sure. her, so okay. it's, it's, it, it tracks. So, um, so, right, so this is right. yes. So this is the uh, splinter blade weapon. Okay. Uh, it is a. Uh, very rare magical item. Uh, chipped off the crash meteor and the foothills of the Black Mountain, the meteoric splinter blade is a short, slender dagger with a leather-wrapped hilt. When observed, it becomes clear that the splinter blade exhibits odd and otherworldly properties. The blade is dark as night and eagerly consumes all light that touches it, making it a sliver of black and purple shadow. Yeah. Uh, the meteoric splinter blade is a plus-one dagger and is considered magical by nature of its cosmic source. Uh, when a creature attuned to the meteoric splinter blade successfully hits a target with it for the first time on their turn, the shard briefly emits a pulse of cosmic energy. This gives the wielder an impression of the immediate future, granting plus one AC until the start of their next turn. If that strike kills the target, the wielder instead gets plus two until end of turn. Uh, in addition, looking through a small crack in the blade allows the wielder to see ethereal and astral beings that are normally invisible to the naked eye. Okay. This ability does not reveal beings or objects hidden through other means. Okay. 
So you have to attune to it to get okay. those benefits. Is that so you can literally with, see God with this what, dagger? What could I see? How does that compare to my um, my blind fighting capability? Because the blind fighting already grants me the ability to see well, you can't invisible really look creatures, through a dagger but I guess well. it's not the same no. as seeing multiplanar. <laughs> no. So, yeah. No. <laughs> it, 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 right. it, 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 I'll stab you while I'm looking at Oh, it it right, doesn't but, combine with your blind sight. Okay, anyway. so I, I just want to make sure I wasn't hoarding something that like duplicated my capabilities when maybe Ricky, I don't know if Ricky would want to use something like that because it's the creep factor and he's kind of icked out by yeah. all this. So I he's guess it's for her. her. Okay. That's icky to she's, Ricky. She's got other things that synergize with that, so she'll hold it so, as I mean, She, she hands it over and then okay. and then they're perfectly Let's fine. To, to, Ricky's to, more, yeah. Ricky's more um, bow work anyway. Okay. So you were able to see things through it like the meteor like the tendrils off of the meteor things that weren't there with not looking through it yes yes Freaky. well Can someone look at the th- my back through it all right she does <laughs> um it looks the same okay it's still the same Freaky, cut a piece off really <laughs> yes absolutely <laughs> i mean you can cut a piece off of the, from the wound if you want. Oh, yeah, take that that, take that, right. that one that's sticking out that I can see. Okay, it takes one before damage. Yeah, Kyle's got to take a before damage. Right? Yeah. That I'm going to hurt you, but very well. And she very carefully. So roll the damage. surgery because she's not creeped out by any of that. Oh my goodness. <laughs> one, it's just a d4. It's just a d4. Okay. Two. What are you doing? <laughs> oh. I said, just cut a piss off. They didn't say stab me in the back. <laughs> Why would you stab me in the back when I told you to stab me in the back? <laughs> okay, two points of damage. Do you want information My or not? Surgery. Well, not. I mean, is it gone? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> okay. My turn next. My turn next. <laughs> No, no. <laughs> Fun's over. <laughs> Just as wit, you should not be that. Would you say that uh, Rowan is a fun guy? Uh, <laughs> no. Not a fun guy, not a fun guy. Jen a is a fun us. gal. <laughs> uh. Okay. Infection. Uh, Re- Re- Ricky's tired <laughs> of weird daggers and crawling door hammers. Let's... Uh, uh, go look at that uh, weird hidden passage. Hidden passages okay, often have weird things. I want the cool things. big bugs and one okay. big bugs. Okay, so... Um, <laughs> so I and I cannot <laughs> lie. <laughs> so the two professors also have uh, po- uh, two potions of healing. All right. So you can distribute two potions of healing throughout the party. All right. Uh, do I... Who needs... Who's most likely to be standing to distribute them? Um, I'll take I'll take one. Maybe you hold the other. Okay, yeah, that potion of healing in my inventory is from earlier, so now I'll just pretend I actually have it. Uh, Being tall drinking. (laughs) That's a tall drink of healing right there. Do you want to hold the other? Yeah, I can hold the other. So the two professors, um, once you guys cross over the river, they start pulling the barricade pieces off of the river. And then basically bring them back over to barricade themselves back in the room that they were in with Rowan. Um, so you go back across the river, and uh, so you go back over the river, and you have two passages that go to the west. Uh, there's the one that is um, uh, choked with heavy strands of mycelium, which crisscross the tunnel in an elaborate geometrically symmetrical web. Geometrically symmetrical. Yeah. I didn't That's even, a I, mouthful. I did that pretty well, didn't I? Yeah. Uh, it is impossible to know just how wide or tall the passage is, as the edges are hidden amongst the vicious. Uh, now I screwed up. <laughs> <laughs> amongst the viscous layers of fungal cordage. Jinxed him. <laughs> so you have this. You have this passageway that's choked off with mycelium, but you can get through it. And then you have a little further south. You have the passage that had the whispering mycelium All curtain right. there. So, yeah. which which passage would you like to take? He want, says we should take the one further south. Always take the hidden passages before the real passages. The one with the fungus blocking it? No, 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 no. no. The one that we, that that we, we revealed. On. Very well. Mm-hmm. I'm okay with that. How did I get the injury? Um, the creatures that they that they fought in the last adventure that were trying to get through um, the barricade, you helped to defend the, the two professors against those creatures. Okay. And you all retreated inside that area and started barricading it up. Yeah, you, yeah. Got, yeah you, you got injured, so then they... 
So then they were in there. Yeah. Essentially, yeah, fungus covered giant cricket. Crickets. Okay. Yeah. Well, they were. Everything they is moss. They were not crickets. Else. They were some other bug. Yeah, they were some other kind of bugs. Everything is a bug Brightly or a moss colored, or a cricket or something. Yeah. Nasty fungal abomination. They, they, they had the hole in the skull with the tentacles coming oh. out. Oh. Slashed oh. you and no. put bad things yeah. into the wound when they slashed you. <laughs> Dawns on him. <laughs> so you're going to be some good. sort of mind flare, crustacean y type buggy thing. <laughs> the sooner we find the rest of the I mean, party, if the Kyle wants to play with us, better help if, if Kyle wants to play with us at the end of this adventure, yeah. nothing really bad will happen until then. So I called that, is what you're saying. <laughs> Chris told us what those things would have done if they had hurt us at the end of the last. <laughs> okay. well, I, I, yeah, I told you what the attack. One of us will yeah. probably kill you, like <laughs> by that time, if it's necessary. Okay, so well, I mean, I mean, as far as far as you're all concerned, wait, it's dumb. You have, you have deep, you have story armor until then. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> as far as you're concerned, he could be saved. As far yeah. as the party yes. concerned, so that's yes. What we're hoping for. Uh, okay, so you guys are going. <laughs> you guys are going into uh, B seven. B seven. <laughs> <laughs> One kill, please. Coming right up. That'll be eight bucks. <laughs> Kick your death. Death okay. I'm a second level. No, it's not. Yeah. We're only level That's two, fair. Kate. <laughs> Kate, stop medicating. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, so you start. So you go. So you go a, a little way south and then west, and then uh, the tunnel. Actually, what's um, what's your passive perception count? Thirteen. Thirteen. Okay. You so, want these up? Uh, yeah, actually. Let me have the initiative things here. So, there. 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 And there have these uh, initiative trackers. And uh, Rowan's passive perception is 13. Okay. So, so as you're moving down this hallway... Uh, where is it? Didn't the whispering moss tell us that there they were would reveal something down that hallway? The what now? Oh, I'm sorry. Didn't, didn't they say that they were Shit. protecting some secret Seven behind them? Was, can, concealing secret dangers. Yeah, concealing secret dangers. Yeah, it was it was sort of a general statement about moss and fungus uh, concealing secret dangers. Okay. Um, is it? Obvious that she's wearing something that came from here. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yes. She is covered in Are mossy you, fungus. Do you have any of these? It's not, the, the, not <laughs> the same as that. It is bonded to me, but at least for now, it bonded. is helping me. This one's bonded to me. <laughs> I mean, context like Jin, she's wearing like a studded leather bodice. Let's say booby armor because she's a warlock. Because why not? And she's got like <laughs> a blatant armor. healed huge scar in her sternum, and like all kinds of intricate like dark tattoos, wounds, like something all over her. And she's very like pallid. Like you're not sure if she's really alive. Maybe she is. She thinks she is. We're gonna so turn into one of those. She's an odd. We like, found her like that. <laughs> she was. Like that before, like that before. Oh. <laughs> so, so Kyle, yeah. your character Mushrooms sees... are new. Mushrooms are new. Mine too. <laughs> uh, you, you see um, on the north wall, you're, you're heading west, and on the north wall, there's a section that um, it blends in pretty well with the rock, but you look at it more closely and you see that it's, uh, it's, it's not actually rock. It's, it, it, it looks to you like it's very tight corded strands of fungus I mean it blends in very well but nobody else seems to notice it but there's like a big section of the wall that's Con- not that's not stone in context okay. is this before is this on our way to that hidden tunnel or have we already entered that you're already in the tunnel okay you're already in the tunnel and Rowan notices the section of wall that looks like rock that's actually a bunch of tightly corded fungus in the tunnel in the okay. tunnel um, what's that right if I look What's at it, that? if I look at it through the dagger, do I see anything special? Um, no, not particularly. Okay. Mm-hmm. Ricky finds that this tends to work. He shoves his, uh, the uh, torch into it. You shove the torch into it. Yep. Uh, Who turned off the lights? I mean, it, it, it kind of squishes and then goes out. Uh, you hear like a squishy sound and then the torch goes out. Uh, okay. Well, take it out. We light the torch. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> 
Okay, so you all know that this this part of the wall is not stone. So what, what would okay, you like to do? I, mm, I asked the armor, can can you make it move? Is she speaking to like telepathically or no? She, no, she's just talking out loud to her armor. Yeah. To? The, the armor, listen. What? It's not uh, like only I can hear it. I, I, everybody can hear yeah. it. Oh, no. Yeah, like everybody this is another conversation. Chris has given me a path for information, and I'm an inf- Oh, yeah, no, I get it. <laughs> I'm character, I'm like, like yeah. <laughs> He's given her a path for information and a, and a dagger that has something that might show her secret hidden things. Yeah. <laughs> So yeah, we're, we're in for it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, and she's so, the studious warlock of uh, yeah, yeah. So yeah, game. So, so you hear her talking, <laughs> seemingly to nobody, and then you just barely hear these like, like, like sort of muttering children little noises that that are kind of speaking back to her. <laughs> we'll never tell. <laughs> <laughs> so the armor says to you. Are you sure that she's not going to listen? Ricky's not sure of anything right now. <laughs> so the armor Ricky said, just wants to find people. Uh, the armor says to you, uh, passage beyond Moss He. Uh, it says there any... there's a passage beyond. I wow. cast Firebolt at it. <laughs> uh, okay, so, so it, just, it starts to burn a hole through. Do you just keep hitting right. it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Gentle so, add some so it, bas- it, it basically yeah. it opens I, up. I found that this time it tends to work. Poof. Poof. <laughs> poof. 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 So, uh, so, so you clear away the section of the wall, and it looks like the same, um, basically webbed up area that you saw in the other passage. Great. All right. Well. So, so this is like another way to get to the same place that you just decided still burn a hole to not go through. You decided to not go through the northern passage. Yeah. Um, but th- this is part of that same hallway, and there's just th- an opening okay. here that so, goes into the other hallway. Shall we, those who can burn a hole, shall we? It, um, it's already burned. Okay, so yeah. so we went into this passage. You noticed that this wall we could burn through. Did yep. the passage continue, or was that the end of that passage? That passage continues about five feet further and goes south. So, so your, your passage is still going. The, so the we could keep going and not yeah. take the one that we Correct. just opened up. Yes. Okay. Ricky thinks so I guess let's continue the on first. the open passage. Yeah. That yes. makes sense. So you're just going to keep going the way you are? Yes. Okay. Yes. I do not want to go into the fungal intestines. Well, we, <laughs> probably, we probably can burn those out when the time comes. <laughs> A few of us have the capability. Fire! <laughs> <laughs> Does that sound like a good idea, Fungus? <laughs> yeah. They don't talk back to you. <laughs> yeah, it's worth a try. <laughs> Wait. Uh, burn okay. your back, burn your back. No, 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 no. 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 <laughs> Thank so the, you, but no. <laughs> so the passage turns south, and then it turns east, and then it turns south. Um, and you are suddenly set upon by creatures that appear to be slender bundles of sentient fungus, around four feet tall by just a few inches thick. Embedded into each of their breasts is a luminous mycelium ball that sheds light as bright as a guttering torch. So these creatures suddenly come out and attack. I've played enough video games to know a weak spot when I see one. <laughs> I was going to say that sounds like <laughs> the rock of a golem. <laughs> Let's roll initiative. Oh boy. Fight, fight, fight. Oh. Do you want to write down the initiatives or do you want me to do it? Uh, I'll have you do it. <laughs> Initiative tracker! Tracker! Oh, that's not my day. That's Oof. okay. Mm. That's what? Yeah, Kate didn't get a 30 on her initiative? No, so, not this spell. She's Jin and you're Quinn, right? Yes. yes. <laughs> Jin. We had no prior conversation among the group at all before this, so like I thought I was playing Warlock to be new because I hadn't played Warlock, and then he had Warlock. <laughs> yes. I felt like seventy percent of all D and D characters had some Warlock in them. <laughs> I have never I played any type of Warlock. Be. I haven't either, so that's why I love Fighter Warlock, Fighter Warlock. <laughs> <laughs> and then sorcerer. Hey, and a dumbass um, sorcerer. Can yeah, you clarify the, the plus one to AC? Is that till the end of my next turn on a hit, or is it just till the end of the turn where I'm attacking? Uh, it is. I think you said till the end of your next turn. That makes sense, right? Yeah. Uh, until the start of your next turn. Actually. Okay. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Yep. That Wit, sense what is your awesome. initiative? I'm glad you asked, Wit. I rolled a four. Thank you, Wit. 
We're all caught flat-footed today. I didn't erase our initiatives from last session. Those two, one, kill. Customizing my dagger so I can keep track of this. Quinn's passive perceptions now 12. Okay. Why? Oh, you made changes. Yes. Yeah, so you're the most observant one among That's us. That's right, because I use them. I see. <laughs> you all have 12 except you. <laughs> Jin. Uh, Freaking wisdom five. people, man. <laughs> <laughs> you were more perceptive <laughs> than, uh, than wit. <laughs> <laughs> not Who so has much. no wit? <laughs> Rowan? <laughs> five. Oh, God. Uh, AC? We're in trouble. Um, oh, my AC? Well, Jin has a 16 deck and Rowan has a 10, so I'm guessing oh. she, already, she already got all the stats. Yeah. Oh, right, right. She already got all the stats. Um, Ricky? Seven. Seven. <laughs> Quinn? Eleven. Oh, I'm sorry, twelve. Twelve. Look at him go. Where are you? Actually paying attention. Yes. <laughs> I'm too busy trying not to get hurt. Yeah, but the, the bad guys go on thirteen, so uh, <laughs> we're all a little screwed. Yeah, we're just going to take a chance to see what they do. <laughs> I just use static initiative for monsters now. They always go on thirteen. Just oh, makes, makes it easier. Okay. Yeah, speed things up. Yeah. Uh, okay, so initiative 12, 7, 5, 5, 4. Okay. <laughs> uh, oh, we're in trouble. <laughs> so, <laughs> so this... Who gets to go last first? Okay. <laughs> so uh, what is the marching order? Um, Ricky I'm probably would have ended, would have been in front. One in the front. Okay, so, so, so number one. Okay. Who's behind Ricky? How is this a five foot corridor? It is. is it? Oh man. It's a very narrow corridor, yeah. Fun. Alright. So probably Jin behind him. Okay. Although wait, you guys haven't been trusting Jin in the front, have you? I well Wit has been, been very suspicious of you since that? you got covered in moss. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. Jin is oh, it's in not the back. Just me, no, <laughs> no, it's not no, all yeah. Yeah. No. It's not just you. Why does it sound like children? <laughs> What's like very tiny? Oh, it sounded like children on the wall too before it jumped on me. So, so are you in the second position? Uh, I think I'm. Am I in the back or not, guys? You got to tell me. I'm in the second and the third. Position. If I don't trust you, I'm not putting you behind me. I'm okay, in the so second. I guess. <laughs> Okay, you, you put the fungus in the back of the last adventure. That's right. why I'm so, asking. So, fungus so, so, Ricky, Ricky, Jin, and then Wit, right? Yeah. Okay. And yeah. the last two spots. I can uh, okay. keep the casters in the middle. We're all casters. Uh, so, 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 so you're on the end. Yeah, yeah, but, okay, he's, on the end. A, he, but he's a tanky caster. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just saying, Jin is at least a partial fighter, so her being up in the front by Ricky makes all right, sense. Alright, so there's so, so yeah. there's two in the back coming at Rowan. There's okay. two in the back coming in the front coming at Ricky. Oh, I'm in the oh they snuck up behind us. <laughs> They, they, they come out from both from basically the front and the back. Oh no. Oh, they they surrounded us. Yeah. Oh no. Oh no. A fight on two fronts. Great. So let's see. <laughs> so these are called uh, Michael Looms. Fun. Makes yeah, sense. Yeah. Michael what? Lumos. <laughs> Michael, My, Lumos. Michael Looms. Glowing. Um, glowing fungi. Okay, so attack. Attack. Plus four. And all right, here we go. So first attack on Riki. Okay, so they're already up in melee. All right. Correct. Um, these, these slender bundles of sentient fungus are on four feet tall and just a few inches thick. Embedded in each of their breasts is a luminous mycelium ball that sheds light as bright as a guttering torch. Attack number one. Uh, AC 11. Myth. Uh, attack number two on the second one is AC 20. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> you take uh, three damage. Any weird constitution saves or anything for this nope, one? Nope. Nothing weird. Good. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Come on. And, and then yeah. Rowan, uh, our uh, our human war cleric in the back, gets attacked. From the first attack, AC 8 probably going to miss you. Ding. Second one, uh, AC 17. Thwap does not hit. Does not hit? Okay. All right. That is the Michael Looms. Then we're on to uh, Quinn, our, uh, what's your racing? Oh, Aladrin. Our, our Aladrin Warlock. Um, 
So I'm going to do an Eldritch Blast. Eldritch Blast, okay. Um, He's all spoopy with half of his face that covered in a mess, too, by the way. You're surrounded by spooky. <laughs> I'm not spooky. Cowardly. Derpy. I'm just dumb. <laughs> Derpy. I, yeah, you're the professor's calling. <laughs> they need help. Screaming, they need help. I'll be back. <laughs> All right, so that's going to be 19 to hit. 19 does nice hit. Job. For 8. 8. All right, so this uh, this blast of what color energy is it, Greg? It's probably red. Red. This blast of red energy shoots uh, just past Rowan and hits one of those Michael Looms and uh, bloodies that Michael Loom in one hit. Yes. Wow. All wow. Right. And is that turn? I think so. You're kind of stuck in the hallway, so... Uh, okay, so that was Quinn. Uh, Ricky, our kobold fighter. You're in the front with two of them f- facing you. Uh, well, there's not much to do except see if I can whip their balls. <laughs> wow. <laughs> the glowing one in their chest. <laughs> I've made a huge mistake. <laughs> <laughs> uh, AC 13 for, unfortunately, minimum damage. Uh, AC 13 does hit. For four. For four. We'll call that Michael Loom B. Okay, got it. B for balls. <laughs> <laughs> and that was with what kind of weapon? That was a whip. Balls. Whip. Okay. Oh, it was Indiana whip. Jones in it. I told you, I've got to whip their ball. Whip their <laughs> you must whip it. <laughs> when I, I, a I never know what you mean when you say things, John. You must whip it. <laughs> <laughs> you must whip it. I'm <laughs> listening <laughs> to the words that are coming out of my mouth. <laughs> whip uh, good. Uh, is that your turn? Uh, that is her. Okay, uh, Jin, right. our fighter warlock, uh, variant human. Okay, so she can't get face to face with us, so we're gonna go with. Uh, let's pick up, take a quick look at spells. But I think we're just gonna go with Eldritch Blast. Yep, Eldritch Blast, the one that he already damaged. The one in the back. Uh, I'm closer to the front, so did okay. he just whip one in the front? He did. Yeah, yep. we'll do that one. B, so B for B. Balls. Yeah, going for B. All right. Um, <laughs> Or blast. Or <laughs> blast. Or blast balls. I already declared it was balls. <laughs> All right. I didn't get my D10s out. Whoopsies. My You're almost up, Kate. <sighs> Let me do this one. Kate, 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 Kate. Kate. Okay. <laughs> Creepy plant metal dice. What? Oh. Let's see where that landed, at least. That's not a great roll, either. That's an eight. So they seem chunky. AC 13 to hit? That does hit. All right. Well, yay. Minimum damage. Uh, we're going to do one. Oof. One force damage. Just kind of winged it. That dice is fine. Okay. You are slightly thin. As John said, you just, you just winged it. You did damage it, though. Okay. All right. And then that is it for now, because I don't think I have anything great for bonus action, or at least not what I want to burn right now. Okay. Yep. We are on to uh, Rowan, our human war cleric. You have two of them right in front of you. All right, one of them's it. One of them's badly, badly hurt. Badly hurt. Yep. Badly, I, badly bad. Swing my mace at it. Okay. Ooh, AC 10. Miss. <laughs> I'm going to use a bolt of inspiration. Okay. Attack it again. All right. AC 17. That hits. For eight points of damage. Eight points of damage. You hit it right in that, right in that center light, and it and it bursts in a bunch of gore and then falls dead. <laughs> Right. So 13 might be our target. Let's we'll see if someone hits lower than that. Okay. <laughs> Anything else, Rowan? Uh, no. Okay. Uh, Wit, our Kenku Sorcerer. There's a damaged one uh, in the back. No, sorry, in the front. In the front front. But of there's Ricky. a second one in the back, right? Correct. Yeah. Was I closer to the back or the front? Uh, you were right in the middle. middle. You were right in the middle. I'm smack yes. dab in the middle. Right in the middle, yeah. I think you're next to where I am. <laughs> well... This is a predicament. <laughs> um, I think... Roll a d6. Evens front, odds back. <laughs> it's the back. Okay. Um, <laughs> all right. I am going to cast Firebolt at the one in the back. All right. Not bad. Uh, AC 21. That is. <laughs> um, that will be four, six... Six. Fire, Iowa. <coughs> okay. Uh, you do manage to bloody. You do manage to bloody that one. 
the firebolt. Burning the fungus, burning the fungus. <laughs> <laughs> burn it all, bird. All right, anything else, Wit? Um. I think that's going to be it. Okay. So, um, uh, as a reminder for everybody, and first time for, for Kyle, uh, basically the, this entire cave system, in one way or another, is covered in moss and fungus. It's all over like every surface everywhere that you go. Um, so, at the start of round two, this, as, as Jeff is telling me in this module here, uh, the fungus that coats every surface of this tunnel begins to constrict around you. Oh no. It all starts to kind of expand and push in on you. Uh oh. Is it um, Yeah. <laughs> so, okay. So, yeah, so that that's all that happens at the moment. It just starts to, like, basically, the walls start to push in on you all this moss and fungus. Uh, and then we go to the uh, Michael looms. And so let's see. So another one is going to pop up in the back and attack the war cleric. AC 14. This? Uh, yes. And then the other one, uh, AC 23 for uh, three piercing damage. Oh! Oh no, not again. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, the wounded one in the front goes for Riki. Yeah, AC 8. And then the other one in the front. Ooh, natural 20. A uh, question, actually. Uh, yes. Um, we're in a five foot wide corridor, right? Yes. How is the second one getting an attack on me? Because they're like four inches wide. Oh, because they're, 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 they're tiny creatures, basically. They're, they, they... they're, they're like these. They're, they're, they're like flat, like 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 four inch. Where's the description? Sorry. They're Smurfs. Um, they're spaghetti slender bundles of sentient fungus. Um, okay, oh, so so they can occupy each other's Correct. Space. Correct. Yep. Gotcha. Yep. They are just a few inches thick. Is what it says. They may be. Darn, yeah. so they I may occupy talk my way a five foot not square, square wide, way. but they're only two and a half foot square. Yeah, there's rules yeah, about how many tiny creatures can share. Yes, yeah. no, I got so you. I got quite you. a few. So you take uh, six piercing damage. Nope. Okay. On a crit up. hit. Oh, On a crit hit. That's not cheap. No. Nope. Uh, but um, at a level two, it's a little bad. <laughs> I've also started to use um, static static damage. At, at least at low levels, at high levels, I like low to realize that. Low levels, I use static damage. Um, all right, so that was the two like in the front, the two forward. in the back. So, uh, Quinn, our Eladrin Warlock, it is your turn. All right. More blasting the right. Uh Front or back? Um, probably the back. Back, okay, there's a wounded one in the back. Go for it. All right, so it's going to be 16 to hit. That hits. Yeah, it's going to be four, seven. Seven, destroyed. Ooh. All right. Is that turn? I think so. I don't know how Okay. Then, yeah, your second level. So. I just don't know if you have a bonus action or something. No bonus uh, action. Ricky, our kobold fighter. Okay, more questions. Yes. Um, can I see farther down the corridor? Does it look like it opens up or anything? Uh, let me look at the map that Casey drew. Casey is Jeff's wife. Um, uh, from where you are in the front, uh, you can see that it it goes ten feet to the west and then goes south. Okay, so I can't see that it opens up at all. I mean, you see that it keeps going around the corner. Yeah. yeah. Okay, I'm just was wondering if maybe I should, we should advance also, to get out of the squeezing. Well, well, the the moss the moss is not const- is not constricting the tunnel. Uh, around the corner. You can see where it goes around the corner mm-hmm. and it's not constricting around the corner. Okay. So there is an opening that looks like a safe opening it's further like ahead of you. Okay. Correct. Yep. Okay. Then Ricky simply stops. Okay. Uh, Ricky thinks we should focus the front. Um, and I will go ahead and try to whip. Let's see. Do we? Um, okay. So there's a second one in front of me. Yeah. I have, I have uh, Okay. What one that is wounded and one that is not. One that is wounded and one that is not in front of me. Yeah. Okay, I will attack the one that is wounded. And I'm, I'm going to say that because they're so thin, mm-hmm. that if you... Mm, 
there's no rules for this, but um, really? I would say that if you if you wanted to make a, uh, an acrobatics check, mm -hmm. that you could basically squeeze by them and treat it as difficult terrain. If you want to make an acrobatics check to basically push past them, or that would, squeeze that in between action? them. No, it wouldn't take an action. No, nope. okay. you can just do it as part of your move. Mm -hmm. Same thing in the back, Kyle. Yeah. If you want to go that way. That's right. I think. <laughs> no. I'm trying to remember if Freaky's considered a small <laughs> character or not. Kobolds, I think, can be small. Can be either. Small I'm or trying medium. To yeah. right. you, can, you can just say you're small now if you want. Uh, no, I have to be accurate here. Mm -hmm. All right. I believe my kobold was small. Yeah. <laughs> you're just. Yeah, size small. There it is. Yep. Found it. So, yes, Freaky is small. So. All right. Okay. Uh, well, actually, before I attack, I'm going to suck wind. <laughs> All right, second wind. Mm -hmm. Got it. <laughs> oh, second wind. Yeah, that's second a suck wind. He did. He did. He, did. That's that's his uh, play on. he was Johnny. You know. uh, <laughs> and well, five hit points. Um, and then I am going to attack the wounded one. Okay. For AC. Yeah. Is, uh, yeah, is that a technical yeah. term? That is. That's what that means an AC9. AC9 misses. Yeah. Uh, AC Draka! Oh. <laughs> yeah, already been there. Um, so. I am. So. You can still try to move through them. Yes, I am going to, hit, going to try to push, try to forge ahead. Go ahead. Acrobatics check. Acrobatics check. Hey, a tw dirty 20. All right, you can move through their uh, through their space and treat it as difficult terrain. So it's just, it just takes twice as much movement to get through there. But okay, well, but, but they're both in the same square, so it's just so yeah. So it's ten feet five, in, 10, 15, 20. and then another five feet to get out. Okay, so then I will move fifteen feet for a total of twenty move, um, so that I am still within my whip's reach. Okay, all right. So I'm going to say that you're out of the, that you're out of the constricting area, okay. but that you can still attack those ones on the end there. Okay. Okay. Cool. All right, Riki, uh, Jin, our human fighter warlock. Okay, all right. Our thing. So you, so you see Riki um, move move beyond these two creatures in the front. Okay. All right. Um, let's see here. Does the athletics does the athletics check take your action, or is that it just like no? It's part of your move. Movement? It's okay. part of your move. Is there room for her to get through? Does it open up enough that I could be side by side with him and still be like face to face with them, or is that he moved far enough for you to stand on the other side of them? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Or you can always move past me for double with for uh, another yeah. double. difficult terrain. You can do that with um, with allies. I think for now, uh, I guess she is going to. She's going to cast Booming Blade. Booming Blade? Okay. Swipe out with her new fancy schmancy dagger. So, let's see how this goes. Right. Go for which, it. Which spooky dice wants to make your attack? Which spooky dice? I feel like the more clear one. I'll make my desk go clickety clackety when I want <laughs> to roll for attackity. <laughs> All right, that is better. That's much better. Okay, so that's going to be AC 21 to hit. That definitely hits. That is going to hit for max damage. We're going to hit for eight. Eight. Uh, this is on the wounded one on the front? This is on the wounded one on the front, yeah. Okay, that destroys that micro Okay. All Screw right. it. So we wasted Booming Blade because it would have surrounded it by lightning, I think. Yeah, basically, um, if it tried to move, it would... Yeah, damage. basically, that's, uh, I mean, we've played with this before, but Booming Blade does extra, actually, it would have done extra damage to it, too, but I didn't need the extra damage, so it is on a hit, it takes the normal effects from the weapon, then Booming Energy, if the target mo willingly moves five feet or more, then it takes an extra D8, okay, alright, just to review, but anyway, uh, so I get two more AC till the end of my next turn. Right? That's true. To the start of your next turn. Okay, so the start. Yeah, of my starting next turn. Yep. So AC nineteen. I'll note that so I remember. Uh, and I think that's it. Okay. Do you want to try to move. Yeah. Um, Do you want to try to move through? 
There's, yeah, because we're getting squeezed, right? Yeah, it's there's being a, there's implied a that we should try to get out of there. Yeah. You have a 30 yeah. move, so you could probably move 5 up, move cost 10 more to get past mm -hmm. them, 15, but you won't have 20. a move to get past them. I mean, now the me. whip is a ranged weapon, though, right? Yes. So you could, I if I can get next to you, at least, then you can reach around me with the whip, and I can be... Big yes, big I've already set up so for yeah, that. yeah, that's fine. Okay, yeah. So, so you can stand now between... Now I understand. Yeah, you derp, can derp, stand derp. between okay. me and derp. the fun guy. Derp. Okay. <laughs> so yes, I will try an athletics check, even though I'm not an athletics person <laughs> at all. Here go we for go. It. Let's try. That, um... Is actually... Okay, what are you? Oh! Oh, 13. That's a 12. Uh, 12, not quite enough. Yeah, that's right. Oh. Exit Tracker! <laughs> <laughs> These are probably DC 15. Okay, no, there's a. Oh, no. No, DC to get past them oh, with, the, with an athletics. Get, yeah. Okay, sorry. Uh, athletics or. Was acrobatics alone? Acro um, it acrobatics. was acrobatics. It, it, oh, acrobatics. Acrobat oh, okay, never mind then. No, that's way different. Okay, so yeah, because my acrobatics is really good. So that's an 18. Okay, you okay. succeed. Thank you. <laughs> Not enough coffee. Yet. All right, so yeah, I am next to him, but base to base with the critters. Okay, yeah, so. yeah, sounds good. All right, so now we're on to uh, Rowan, our human war cleric. So I'm in the back. You're Whenever in the back. If we hit one of these things, it constricts and another one pops out, it looks like. Um, well, the, the walls are just are just constricting on their own. Okay. And these creatures just seem to be like... like coming out staggered. They keep coming out like one after another after another. Okay. They just keep coming out. So it doesn't seem like, <laughs> bam, we kill one and then it's coming no. and they won't stop coming. Okay. It's just its own <laughs> section. In like, the hey, there are squishies here. Gotta hit the ground it's, right. Yeah, there are so many out. Go, go, go. On, on, round, on round six, the, the entire tunnel is going to be completely cut off. Don't warn us. You're not supposed to tell us. I want, I want to tell you. I want, I, I want your characters to understand that. Like, like the speed at which The speed at which it's moving in. Okay. Yeah. By it's round like... six, you're going to be completely squished in there. Uh oh. Okay. Somebody's going to probably have to push Wit because he's dumb. Yeah. <laughs> uh, my allies, and I try to get past it, It's, it's difficult terrain for each person. Oh, yeah. yeah. So, uh, however many people you got to get there. One, now. two, so, 15 so two. feet. I can move 15 feet, it sounds like, probably, right? Um, all if you'll have to dis you'll have to disengage. Um, it'll be oh, ten feet action? to get okay. past five, them. ten, then fifteen, 15 20. twenty. If you don't want taking the distance, if you don't want to provoke, if you don't want to provoke from the the one creature that's right next to you, or you can take or you can take the uh, you can take games. the opportunity attack if you want. Take the opportunity attack, or you can disengage. Or I could hold my action to I can. Um. So if I move 15, sorry, um, if I move 15, am I, I'm, I'm not out of, I'm not at the front now, right? Is that basically uh, what I You would have to move. It's a problem with the map. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You'd have to move 15 feet. Two of those squares would be, dip, would be difficult terrain. And then you would yeah. be face to face with but the you guys. But could, you could dash yeah. as your action and that would give you 60 feet of total movement. Mm -hmm. That assuming, would be Assuming the that he way. doesn't disengage. Though. And I would take, yeah. like, if, if how, you how take many are in the back? One. Just one. And how many are in the front? Two. Well, two. You're going to have to make uh, There's one right now. Oh, there's one right now. There's All right, one, so that'll, one be right two, yeah. that'll be two, probably two... Uh, two opportunity attacks. Opportunity attacks. Um, yeah, I just do it. I do that. I run. So, dash okay. action. Okay, so to get past them, let's see, there was two spaces, which would be 5, 10. So the one in the 15, back 20, takes an opportunity 25, attack. 25, 30, 35, 40 for the creatures see 15, this is you need okay. Oh, but then you're standing there on the other side of the creatures. He doesn't have to move. Mm -hmm. Because oh. Kate's character is just on the other side of the But creatures. at least he can get up to the front of the other but you side. Can get up to the yeah. Okay, yeah. so you're up to the front. So you didn't get, you didn't get attacked, you made it up to the front. Okay. I still have an action because I didn't dash? Correct. Okay, so then I will... Attack the one on the front? The one on the front? Yeah, then. go for it. Okay. Way to go here. Yep. Out of my way, <laughs> creature! GTFO! This, yeah, this is a, this is a, um, this is a fight where a map would help. <laughs> They're wiry. I, I miss. You miss, okay. All right, so... You know what? Uh, They're on my ceiling. So Rowan moves up to the front the front rank there. Yes. <laughs> uh, and that, anything else? No, I just... Yeah, okay. yeah I'm not going to blow this out. Uh, Wit, our Kenku Sorcerer. Would you say that they're thin enough? No, that wouldn't work. I couldn't pull them through a character's space, right? Uh, what is it that you're trying to do? Lightning lore. If I hit the right way, will allow you to pull something thin. Sure, feet. sure you can pull. There is free, yeah. free space in front of her. Yeah, absolutely. 
Yeah, but he's standing in front yeah. between me and an enemy. Yeah. Yeah, but you can pull him yeah, through. Yeah, you're allowed to you make range spell attacks around yeah, your buddy's was, shoulders. We yeah, there, 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 there was. Yeah. Instead of place in the there, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Good point. Okay, so there was. Sarah, enemies. I'm telling you, it works. Go ahead. Go ahead and do it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying, I do. right? I do, but it works. Because it's enemy, Rowan, space, yeah. space, me. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes. You, you can pull them, like, you can pull them uh, through Elvish there. Blast okay. attacks around that's totally fine. Already. Yes, so, yeah. that's fine. No worries. <laughs> I'm trying not to belabor this too much. I didn't understand. Because... <laughs> Okay, so I have to move five feet first. Okay. Because it needs to be within 15 feet of me. Sure, yep. Um, but I am going to attempt lightning lore, which is a strength saving throw. Strength saving throw, all right. Uh, strength score is 10. <laughs> Here we go. Uh, no bonus to the save, right? No saving throw. Nope, no bonuses of any kind. There we go. Natural one. Nice! <laughs> <laughs> Um, so it gets pulled 10 feet in a straight line towards me and okay. takes 1d8 lightning damage. Go for it. So this lightning oh, shoots by you, Rowan, and pulls a creature right past you. That's not a d8. <laughs> <laughs> it's a d10. <laughs> this particular one is shaped really weird, so it kind of looks like a d8. <laughs> d8. Two pyramids Ooh. ass to ass. <laughs> Much better roll. So it takes seven lightning damage. This is one of the front. Okay, that bloodies that one as it gets pulled past Rowan and right in front of you. Clear the way. <laughs> All right, good? Yeah. All right. So we are back up to the top of the round. Because so that is... also pulled it within five feet of me. <laughs> uh, so this is round This is round three. <laughs> so, so the walls press in further on round three. Oh, no. <laughs> Smells like moss. <laughs> Smells like moss. <laughs> um, okay, so there's there's one in the back. There's one sort of in the middle right in front of Wit. Um, and uh, one more... Pops up in front of Rowan and attacks him. Uh, AC seven is gonna miss. Uh, one more pops up in the back. It's going to attack Quinn. Uh, AC twenty two we'll hit. for three piercing. Three. And then we are on to Quinn, three. Ladrin Sorcerer. How many are in the back now? Sorry, Warlock, Ladrin Warlock. Um, so there is two in the back, one in the front, and one in the middle. <laughs> oh, uh, um, <laughs> Quinn says, I think it's time that we get out of here. The walls are closing in very quickly. Ricky agrees. Hold it to make space for you to keep moving. <laughs> so... <laughs> it was on purpose. <laughs> so I guess what he tries to do is... Um, the players To hit the one in the front characters. and then tries to move. Sure. Yeah, go for it. So you're going to Elder Blast the one that is... Um, in front of me. Oh. Well, there's you're behind the you. Yeah, you're, you're, you're in the back. You're at the very back, so you could move up to the front and provoke. There's, the, there's a couple that are right next to you. Okay. And then there's Wit, one of the creatures, Rowan, okay. one of the creatures, Jin, okay. and Ricky. Okay. <laughs> so I'm in the back by myself, just <laughs> basically. basically. You need, yeah. Okay. <laughs> so I'm gonna provoke the attack. You need to GTFO. Go. You need to run, or okay. you're not gonna have the time to get up there. Yeah. Uh, first one, AC 16. That's gonna hit for three. Okay. Second one, natural one. Okay. All right. So you it's move. So you move past Wit. Uh, make a, a acrobatics check for me. Okay, acrobatics. <clears throat> You don't have teleport, do you? Ugh. Uh, oh, I do. I have Dimension Door. Could you? <laughs> Dimension really? Door at level That's two? That's high. <laughs> uh, oh, is it free? Because of Ladrin? Uh, oh, no, you, you have Misty Step. He, yes. he is the Fae Touched okay. Misty Step. That's right. Which is a yeah, bonus action. Which is which a is bonus nice. action. So you can at least try the action stuff, and it doesn't work. You can so poof 30 feet. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, Get right out to the other side. So... Help me out here. <laughs> okay, so he. So is there a space? Is ten feet be- behind me, right. so he could. You can move do five, yeah. right? And then so me five ten, fifteen. Enemy twenty. Yeah. 
25, 30. Ricky is 30. Is Ricky. So. Right, but if he does his normal move first, then he yeah. can miss the, the, only, the only question I have is, is there a space between the front guys and you? No. No? Mm-hmm. Okay, so this is not enough space. All right, so you basically, you, you can't see an empty space to get through, which is what I thought, but I wanted to confirm. Okay. Huh? Um, um, if, oh, from where he's yeah, but if he runs through first, if he like shoves past her yes. and the other bad guy and yes. gets up Correct. to him, then you can misty step out. To yeah, the absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, what, what, what was your dexterity acrobatics check? Uh, it was nine. It was nine. Yeah. Okay. So you try to move up through the one that is in front of uh, Wit, and you but can't you quite squeeze it. by it. No. All right. So now you're standing behind Wit. Okay. All right. Yeah. Yeah. You get pushed back. Next free yeah. space. Yeah. I think I think this part is deliberately supposed to do this to you. Yeah, I know. Because <laughs> it's an OSR adventure, it's supposed to make this very complicated with a, with a five foot wide narrow hallway with creatures getting in your way. Hey, no, I'm liking this. This is very tactical. I mean, it's it's, it's, it's very it's very OSR. It's very yeah. OSR. Um, so, Greg, is there anything else? So, you, so you didn't use Missy Step, okay? You, um, st- you still have that. Just so you know. Okay. You still have Missy Step available. Right. Uh, once you can get to a space where you can see. The only problem yeah. right now is that. Everybody's stacked right in a line. Correct. Plus, the acrobatics means that you didn't waste a turn, an action doing that. You still have your action, too. So you could either... That's um, true. You didn't, you didn't actually blast anything, right? Yeah. You could either attack something. Well, I think I'm going to have to attack something. I mean, I don't know if attacking the walls would stop them from closing. I'll, I'll tell you what, Greg. So, so, you, so, you, so you move away from the one in the back, right? You get up to it. You use Eldritch Blast. Then you try to keep moving. Okay. So make your Eldritch Blast attack right now okay. on the one in front of uh, Wit. Of me. Yeah, because if you kill it. Yeah. All right, so that is going to be a 16 again Okay. for 10. Okay, so you, you, so you destroy that one in front of Wit. Awesome. And, you nice. move, and you move through Wit okay. into that space. And right. now you have enough room that you can now miss you step, okay. step behind me. Yeah. And now you can miss your step behind okay. me. Cool beans. Yeah. So yep. Nice. There you go. GTFO. Yeah. Cooperative movement. (laughs) All right. uh, That was Quinn. Uh, Ricky, Cobalt Fighter. Um, Since I'm... uh, Might as well go ahead and take my attack on the one in... On on the one one in front. Okay. That one's dead. And I... Nick the creepy lady's ear. And you whack Jin in the head and yeah, AC ten, AC ten misses. Yeah, clip a mushroom that off her shoulder. <laughs> Ricky doesn't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Is that turn, Ricky? I uh, yeah, I mean level two fighters, not much else. All right, Jin, so, human okay. fighter warlock. Okay, uh, let me double check what I have here. Oh, uh, anyway, hmm. how you? That's funny. <laughs> Don't have to do anything fancy. It just nope. Yeah. Just trying to get through this narrow tunnel, choked okay. by creatures. Uh, she's Help just us clear gonna, the way. She's just gonna, <laughs> yeah. So she's gonna try to hit. Um, I mean, is it? It's more important to clear the one that's in front of him. Oh yeah. Right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yep. All right. Yep. So we're gonna. We're all disengaged yeah. from the ones in the back at the yeah. moment. Right, 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 right. <laughs> so I am going to for now Eldritch blast the one that's blocking. Wrong. Him. Yep. Yeah. Go for it. And, and oh, oh no! <laughs> you're starting to aim at it and realizing there's a very, very thin creature in the that you're aiming at with the big gun. There's lightning and Eldritch energy yeah. flying by you. <laughs> Trust the mushroom lady. That's not great. Watch your nose. Watch your nose. <laughs> uh, I'm assuming AC nine is not going to get the nine job misses. done. Oh my nope. dice! Oh, no. <laughs> nine. 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 But does not hit Rowan. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious! That's not good. Uh, <laughs> don't know if they're trying to yeah, kill him. So, um, <laughs> dear me. And I'm anytime. based. To, am I base to base with one anymore? Or I destroyed the one that was base to base with me, right? You're not base to base with anybody right now. Okay, yeah, I, she is. I am. She is. Because one popped up between her and Rowan. Oh yes, that, yes, okay. yep. Okay. There, there was one. There was one in the front. Well, you know. That's the one that you just aimed at. <laughs> <laughs> but we want to clear space for them to be able to get through with restricted Correct. mobility. So I'm going to provoke to try to run to the back of the pack okay. just to get out and clear space. Sounds good. So. 
Uh, AC 19. Run okay, to so, the uh, Let's see. Unfortunately, my AC is not still boosted, so uh, that does hit. So you get uh, three piercing, but oh. you do manage to okay. make, make some room in the hallway. That's fine. I had temps from my former dread, so I'm doing okay. All right. Super Good. bloody. Good. Okay. Uh, that is Jin. Now it is Rowan, our human war priest. Um, so the one right in front of me still? Yep. Uh, AC 24. That it. For five points of damage. Okay. Takes it. Um, and still standing, so I'm still, still trying the acrobatics to uh, move through them. Yeah. Uh, bolt of inspiration. Okay. Misses. <laughs> um, I'm out of here. No, I'm not. <laughs> oh, no. I'm hanging out. <laughs> Try, tries to squeeze past. Athletics isn't an option, right? Because no, it's acrobatics. Okay. He's right. doing a breakdance move, baby. It's, like, <laughs> it's moving with me. It must be like have some kind of hive mind. Yeah, I gotta do like that shoulder. crouching tiger, hidden dragon <laughs> shit to get around him. Uh, is that turn, Rowan? Um, yes, after uh, I okay. it, it dance with it, yeah. All right, wait. Our Kenku Sorcerer. Hmm. <laughs> Lightning lure him. No, wait a minute. <laughs> Hold on. I mean, that does sound like something that Wit might do. <laughs> Drag towards it instead. I knew it. <laughs> Ricky, why are you trying to kill people? Um, <laughs> Ow, thank how you. Far is that? Ow. Wait, how far will Lightning Floor go? Lightning Floor Ricky is. <laughs> it doesn't, it's a 15 foot range and I can only pull 10 feet. Uh, um. <laughs> Hmm. You don't have teleportation stuff, right? No, I do not. Bummer, bummer. I have thunder wave, though. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I don't want to take damage. Maybe damaging the walls, right? Isn't that how I ended the last fight? I was just like, boom! Yeah. <laughs> I just didn't like it. It all broke. It all broke. <laughs> Everything was dead, Dave. And I just about took damage from that. We haven't thought that. about damaging the, the hallway end. that's constricting you guys. That That is an angle we haven't tried. Um, yeah, we're, almost, yeah. we're mostly out of it anyway, yeah. so... Well, it's still three of them in it. <laughs> I am going to. No, no, no. 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 It's, it's, it's just look really yeah, meanly the at the one in front of him. Okay. <laughs> and cast Mind Sliver. <laughs> okay, Mind Sliver. So, Intelligence Saving Throw. Intelligence Saving Throw. I'm hoping it's not very intelligent. It's not. Uh, last one. So, that's. Last one. It got a. Got a 16 though. Oh, oh. damn! Oh, darn. No, it's it's a, smart as fuck. I'm ro- sorry. I, I rolled really high on the die. <laughs> it's can trip, so sorry, it's a make or break. Turn. Yeah, I oh, gotcha. Yeah. Yeah. Our dice are not. Um, I will us again attempt today. to move up into the space that she just made. Okay, go for it. Acrobatics. Come on, Woody. Acrobatics. To use the the optional tumble feature from the DMG. Darn it! Crinkle in the tablecloth. <laughs> That's a twelve. <laughs> Not enough, sir. <laughs> All right, turn. That's my turn. All right, round four. The walls constrict even further. Uh, uh, let's see. Feels and... like home. Feels like home. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Uh, so another one pops up in front of you, Rowan. So there's two in front of us. There's two in front, yep. They're like coming out of the walls. <laughs> uh, so two attack, Rowan, AC 12, AC 17. Is that miss you, Kyle? Sorry. 17 misses you? Misses me. All right. Uh, the two in the back. There's no one there. Well, yeah, but they move up to uh, Wit. Oh. I'm still in the back. <laughs> <laughs> there is uh, still a back of our party. <laughs> uh, AC 14. That hits oh, oh, no. three three piercing does she have major or no that's a wizard thing yeah and then ac 14 again for three piercing <laughs> uh then it is on to uh quinn Wit is bloody Wit is bloody Wit is very <laughs> crunchy <laughs> uh quinn our Aladdin, uh warlock can i attack the wall 
You can certainly try. <laughs> <laughs> you can certainly try. <laughs> classic DM answer right there. I am going to try. I say that a lot when I DM. <laughs> Let's try different. There, there are critical role t-shirts of, of Matt Mercer saying that. It's, I mean, popular, it's a popular thing. It's not a bad conclusion to draw given we had to attack the bomb. I'm going to witch bolt it. You're going to witch bolt it? Yes. It was a mass adventure. We had to... Burn it. That's 30 feet. My burning hands to try and hold. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so that's. Between Eldritch Blast and, and her fire, we wrecked it. <laughs> All right, so. so you have to hit, right? You yeah. have to hit with the Okay. Come on, guys. Wit has panicked and burned and Thunderbolt did a lot of stuff. <laughs> so it's nine to hit. Greg, your dice hate Nine to hit? Know. Yeah. Uh, the witch bolt kind of flies off and like hits the floor and doesn't seem to really do anything. Yeah. Bing, 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 bing. Damn it. <laughs> My core dice is out. So it's right between Rowan's legs. <laughs> <laughs> Why did I find these people? <laughs> Why did these people find me? <laughs> <laughs> is that your, is that your yes. turn? Yes. Okay. Ricky, Cobalt Fire. Oh, female. Uh, well, Ricky still doesn't have anything particularly clever that he can do. Um, so... He is, however, going to uh, drop his whip and pull out his uh, short bow because he's better with the bow. Okay. Um, and going. So now to... you're gonna bow him in the balls. Got to bow him in the balls. Take out the ones that's oh, blocking him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Why does the short creature have a bow? <laughs> Don't be aiming at them or me. <laughs> Uh, and, yeah, um, was there one in the middle that's currently wounded? In the middle? Uh, the, the, uh, the one in between the me. The one in between. There is, there, is one, there is one on the front, in front of Rowan, that is, that is damaged. Okay, that's my aim. Yep. Crit. 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 Mm-hmm. Uh, for three plus three is six, plus another three is nine. Nine, okay, that is destroyed. Boom. Splat. You're welcome. So, this, so there's one Thank in front you. of Rowan <laughs> and uh, two behind Wit. Uh, is that a turn? Uh, that is turn. All right. Jin, you mean Fighter Warlock. Okay. I see these things as like walking mycelia. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, yeah. <laughs> Little tentacle man. Glowing. Right. Four feet tall and a few inches thick. Not so <laughs> So are there any others between them and us? Is there one more? There's one more. There's one in front of Rowan, and there's two behind me. Right. Does I do that, or do I try to attack the wall? <laughs> I would attack the thing that's keeping us from moving forward. Yeah. All right. But the walls are not an issue if we get out of the hallway. All right. That's true. And there's a the thing neck. blocking us from getting out of the hallway. You guys right. something? I don't. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> It's the walls. <laughs> Coming from Sarah's God. perspective. Uh, that's another worthless roll. Sorry I just hit the table. That is like another <laughs> ten. Ten uh, misses. Yep. Barf. Uh, bonus action. I don't think there's anything useful she could do. All set? Yep. Uh, Rowan, human war priest. Get better aim. Get better aim. We're going to turn it into a party sausage. All right, so (laughs) AC 19 for six points of damage. Bloodied? You can still try to run past it. You can still try to use acrobatics and move past it. There is a space beyond it. It's free. (laughs) It's worth a shot. Is someone... Is there flanking in this or no? No, no. Um, Okay. Uh, I will try to move past it. Okay. Acrobatic check. 16. You succeed. And I keep moving to as far back as behind people as I can. Okay. So then it turns into um, Jin, Ricky, and then you, I think. So I'm out of the tunnel. Uh, no, she, uh, she moved up a little bit. I so moved it's actually, back behind, yeah. So it's actually Jin throwing me. Okay. And then he's way in the back, right? Okay. Yeah, so I move so I can still see the tunnel. I'm out of sure. the tunnel. Yep. I can still yeah. see yep. the tunnel. Yep. Um... Uh, so who's the furthest one besides me? No, he teleported away. Oh, he teleported he's like away. Way he's he missed his step. I'll be in front of him. Yeah. 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 
Yeah, uh, so it's, yeah, it's, it's Ricky, <laughs> yeah, me, really you, him. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay, whatever. Yeah. Okay. I'm the last bird standing. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Remember? Uh, so that was... Who was the last rolling? All you gotta do is... Uh, wait. You are a Kenku sorcerer. All you gotta do is burninate the one in front of you. Um... Um... The one in front is bloody. I will attempt a firebolt. Okay. That's it all hinges not on this roll. D10. No. Well, at least she'll be able to run up right <laughs> to the edge because he's out of there now. So yeah. now she can run up to the very edge no matter what. She yeah. just might. That is an AC 23, sir. Ooh. That is. For nine firewood. Nine, nine. That destroys that micro. Nice. <laughs> I think at this point everybody's got a clear shot away. Run, 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 uh, well, run. There's, there's two that are on you though. That right, shall provide opportunity but, attack. Uh, run, yes. run. Uh, AC nine. Miss, miss. <laughs> uh, AC twenty one. That hits, hits. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> for, for three piercing. Oof. Brutalized here by a bunch of little twigs. Okay, but, but basically everybody is free of the tunnel now. Oh my god. Uh, yeah, I, I mean, if you, want, if you want to play around where like they come up to us and try to no, 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 but no. at this point, no. yeah, our next moves are all just going to be the GTFO. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very bloody. She is too. I am too. Oh no. Uh, so basically, the... on a scale of 1 to 16, I'm at about a 4. <laughs> <laughs> So you make your way out of the constricting tunnel, and Actually, you see that you see the micro looms that are in there kind of get squished by the walls. Oh, yeah. so they weren't friendly to them. No, uh, no. Or they don't want the squishing. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there's there's, there's, there's no danger. Some people are into Maybe that. Maybe they just like the squishing. There, there is no danger. So you continue you continue down this passageway. Uh, it continues to head south, uh, and um, we're doing the same marching order I assume as before. I guess uh, we can get. I mean, it seemed like a perfectly we're valid out of the order now because I we can we can reshuffle. Yeah. Stop. I will, I will heal you. Oh, yeah, we definitely we we need to oh, yeah, figure right. out a safe place. So you so you stop in the hallway yes. and and Rowan offers bad. some healings. You look worse well, than me with mushrooms growing out of my. Yeah. Do we back. want to? Don't forget, you have at least two healing potions. You might have a third. Yeah. But uh, no, actually, the healing have two. You have two healing potions and you have Rowan, so go ahead and do your healing. So you um, two, how many people are bloodied? I am not bloody. Okay, because so you two obviously look like you need it bad. Don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> okay, so she's fine. <laughs> on a scale of- <laughs> the bird is about to fall over. Yeah, on a scale of 1 to 24, I'm at about a 17. Okay, all right, so... I'm- the two of them are Quinn. bad. Yeah, Quinn. Bad, bad. Uh, I'm a boy bird. Quinn and Wendt. Learn your pronouns. <laughs> bird. Bird. Burb. 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 Burb is the word. Um, if I say cast. Okay. Have you seen this? I think you just mark off a spell slot. Seven to you? I think you mark off a spell slot, Kyle. I think is how it works. Yeah. Thank you, my and friend. Then, um, to R- Ricky? Uh, wit. Uh, nope, that's what oh, wit. 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 I'm wit. I'm Rick, witty. Rick, 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 Ricky's the scaly. Oh, yeah, witty, yeah. <laughs> um. Ooh, eight plus nice, numbers, nice. so 11. 11. Yeah. 11. Oh. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? Torm doesn't like the warlock. Healing, jealousy. Although you, you so, have a healing if, potion. If Freaky's a scaly, you're I was not down a furry. To what, what do you call well, the Well, now what are you up A feathery. A feathery. So, out of okay, fine. 16, six, six, an ordinary. <laughs> 16 of 20. Not an ordinary <laughs> healing potion. Avian. Yeah. You <laughs> better use a tweet. We've seen this article of an avian in nature. <laughs> nature. Burn. 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 Well, we got a couple oh, earlier. Oh, we got took one. You were I, given I, they were in the, 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 the professors had two healing potions. Okay, yeah. and they gave them yeah. to those people. Yep, okay. yep, correct. Cool. Yep. Uh, okay. So, Proceed. Uh, you continue down the hallway, and uh, Ricky, mm. uh, you fall into a shallow hole filled with acidic slime. Uh, Do I not get a perception check to see no. it? Oh, that sucks. <laughs> I need a. Do I, I not get a dex check? Save? I need a Constitution saving throw. Oh man, where did I, he go? <laughs> I 
I mean, the, the, everything is covered in moss, and he's walking forward, and suddenly the floor just collapses under him. Because <laughs> your passive perception, brutal, man. Your passive perception wasn't high enough. Oh no! Oh no! Oh, no. <laughs> uh, constitution? Yep. Four. Four. Okay. So you fall into this uh, hole filled with acidic slime. Best it didn't pull you in this time? Question mark. <laughs> uh, you take four uh, acid damage. Oh gee. And there is. Um, Da, 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 da. There's this puff of noxious vapors that comes up out of the hole oh, when you fall into no. it. Oh no. Uh, Watch out, acid fart. Burp. It's the bog of eternal stench. <laughs> Ew. Like, this is supposed to be a horror module, guys. Yeah. Stop yeah. laughing. So, second position was, was you, right? Yeah. Okay. So, so the, the, this uh, this cloud of vapor puffs out. I need you to make a constitution saving throw. That's great. Ay, ay, ay. Oh, I'm which you. dice does or doesn't want to play nice? I'm going to try the middle one again. That doesn't look like a good number. That's not a good number. Uh, eight plus four. That'll be a 12. A 12. Oh. Okay. Uh, I probably shouldn't even bother with that part because it's only for a number of rounds. So you're poisoned for a little while, but then it goes away. Okay. Yeah, but we're not in fight. If we had no, been still running from those things or something. Yeah, yeah if, you, if you had still been fighting, Bad days. then it would have made okay. a difference. Yeah. So, well, I am obviously going to swim out. Yeah, you get up, you get out of it, and, and yeah. it's, you, you can go around it. Acid tastes terrible. Do we bring the ladder with us, by the way? Uh, no, I don't think no. we've been carrying that ladder. Yeah, carrying you probably don't have a 10-foot ladder yeah. <laughs> carrying around with you. Do we have a 10-foot uh, pole? We have ropes so we can help each other. I have a 10-foot pole. <laughs> 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 like, well, whoa. Is it corkscrewed? <laughs> you know. uh, <laughs> nobody wants to know where that pole is exactly either. Okay, so uh, you, are, you are now in the entrance hall. This large room is crafted of masterfully shaped granite, completely uniform in shape and size. It is the first real sign of civilization you have seen here in the foothills. The high ceiling of this chamber has partially collapsed, making much of what was once a grand hall mostly inaccessible. In tight clusters along the floor are glowing mushrooms in a variety of colors. Their prismatic light is strangely comforting in the otherwise inhospitable caverns. Is it though? Dominating the partially crumbled northern wall is a large door covered with intricately designed patterns etched in copper leaf. The eastern wall has been muralled with grotesque images and otherworldly bioluminescent ickers. Ickers. Yeah. That that is what you see. Okay. Mm-hmm. I think we should open. Pretty mushrooms, pretty mushrooms. Let's look around. So we have murals, we have... You have murals, door. you have the door, oh. and you have mushrooms. Have yeah. mushrooms. Okay. I asked the, the whispers, what, what can you tell me about these? <laughs> of course they do. Um, are you asking about something specific? Uh, about the mushrooms and about the, the mural and the door, like the, the key features you've pointed out to me. Okay. Yeah. Um... Um, the whispering mycelium armor says, he, he, mushrooms, light, light source, he, he, light source, mushrooms. He, he. Interesting. So, I go and pick. Wit is very attracted to the mushrooms because shiny things. Uh, <laughs> Ricky's going to grab a hold of one of Wit's rings and just kind of keep her, keep her, keep Let's him in check. check the surroundings before <laughs> well, we go to the middle to of the chamber this time, shall <laughs> we? I picked one up. <laughs> what does the dagger show you? Uh, that's fair. Fair question. You, you I, pick one up. Mm-hmm. I look through the dagger as well on his suggestion. Okay. Oh, first things yeah. first. Hold on. You pick up a mushroom. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh, mushrooms. Oops. <laughs> you said it was just light. Yeah. So. Um, so you pick it up off the floor and, it, and it's, it's 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 glowing very nicely. Okay. Yeah. Well, <laughs> Pretty. Pretty. I, I give it to wit. <laughs> I. I hold out my wing that's free. <laughs> how, how big Ready. is this? Like Ready. 100 feet, 50 feet, 20 feet? Uh, is it ticking? <laughs> is it ticking? It makes such a pretty chicken noise. <laughs> uh, this, this area, the, the entrance hall is about 40 feet long uh, and 10 feet wide. Okay. Although it's a little wider in front of the door. Okay. So it's like 15 feet wide in front of the door and 40 feet long. So it's basically the mural on the one wall and then the door at the opposite end of the room, and that's it. Okay. 
right. uh, Ricky, Ricky thinks that if it doesn't, if the room looks safe, then we should probably yeah. take a break. Mm-hmm. I, uh, do you want to take a rest? Let's try. Yeah, I think. Oh, do we want to try for at least a short rest? Yeah. Or do you think we can actually manage a long rest on this? I don't know. I could. Uh, it's up to you guys. I could ask the the children. That is, is this space as dangerous as the, those we've been before? Um, the the armor says maybe maybe creatures from constricting hallway maybe come back. Hmm. Mm. The possibility of attack if we attempt. That that passage is still closed, just so you know. That the, the okay. hallway is still closed. Mm-hmm. All right, so All right. we'd be taking a gamble. I'm going to try and wrestle my so. my wing away from Ricky. Okay. Um, to, to hold on to the mushroom and like walk around the room do, with it. Uh, give me an opposed strength check. Do the mushrooms provide better light than torches? Uh, let me see. <laughs> not one. I got an 18. Yeah, you're not <laughs> Jin, Jin is creepy enough that she honestly wonders if enough of us are wearing mushrooms. Like, would everything still be packing? Um, they they right? shed yeah. light like a torch, so 20 foot, bright 20 foot dim. Oh, wow. Okay. okay. Um, Ricky thinks we should try to take a break. We okay. need a rest. Um, I am going, I actually have a hunter's trap, um, which okay. I'm going to set up in the, uh, in that five foot hallway. Since we don't see anything could we else. barricade it? Is there anything we could use to block that hallway fully? So Quinn says I, to Jin, "This painting that's on the wall—did someone put it there, like the ones before, or is it something that was original to this structure?" No. What, what did the children say when I asked them about the painting? Because I did. Um. Not 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 sure who made. Okay. And you said it, it just depicts monstrosities and like all the kind of creepy stuff we've been encountering, or? Well, let's see. Yeah. I mean, if we're going to study it, but do we want to try to block the door? Can well, we? for, okay. Yeah. Let, let's focus on yeah. something first. Are we going to focus on the murals or are we going to focus on taking a rest? I would think we focus <laughs> on the rest because then we can study the mural while we're resting. That's ding, what ding, I was ding, trying ding, to ding, get ding, to. Ding, ding. Okay. <laughs> so let's deal with taking yes. your rest. Yes. Oh, I don't need to take yeah. the rest rest. Yeah. So, um, so you're doing a short rest? Um, yes. Yeah. I, um, I don't. I mean, do we see anything in the area that could be used for a makeshift barricade? Is it, or is it just kind of covered in fungus? Um, could we pull down curtains of fungus and block it so at least people don't look no. down and see glowing and people in the glowing, right? Yeah. Yeah. This this area actually doesn't have as much of the fungus. Um, like, like the murals aren't covered in fungus. Mm-hmm. Um, but um, uh, there is a... Where is it? So I'm looking at my map here. There is a um, there's a pile of rubble that's fallen down from the ceiling mm. that's partially covering the second mural. I mean, you might be able to use use the the crumbling parts of that of that wall. Yeah, well, why didn't you it. put that in our list of assets? <laughs> <laughs> He's an ass. You're an asset. <laughs> yes. I got the Princess Bride reference. <laughs> <laughs> Nerd. <laughs> So yeah, you can maybe you can maybe unbury that, use that pile of rubble if you want. Um, I would say we should try we to try. block, okay. pile it up. Um, um, I'm still going to set my trap just in case, but uh, okay. So what's the plan? Okay, um, I'm going to set. Uh, I have a hunter's trap okay. um, that uh, I'm going to set in the hallway. To, uh, so if anybody steps on that, they get trapped, and, I, and we can hear it go off. From the one that you came from, from the constricting tunnel? Yes. From there? Okay. Right. Um, and then, uh, yeah, see if we can, like, use some of the larger rocks or something like that to at least, you know... Okay. Impede progress. Through. Impede, make okay. it harder to see in. Yeah, 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 so yeah, as yeah. you're clearing that rubble, um, it reveals a small alcove. Oh. And you find the uh, battered body of Algernon Carver. Mm. Oh, no. Uh, Oh, he got... Tra- he got he, Algernon. He, Algernon, Algernon yeah. got crushed by rock. Our, um, okay. Percentage of alive versus dead people seems to be not very good okay. with this particular... <laughs> granite room. Does he have the fungus on him as well? Can we loot the body? Uh, you can loot the body. <laughs> uh, let's see. So... Let's what see. are you doing? Well... Why the pants? We've... <laughs> <laughs> 
Um, so he looks like he was injured very badly and and expired from from blood loss. Okay. Uh, oh, good. <laughs> it's not the fungus. <laughs> Uh, he has a healer's kit okay. next to him. Nice. Grab that. Yep. Um, uh, you find with that healing kit, Kyle, um, mm-hmm. Rowan finds five herbal poultices. You can use an action to apply one to a creature and heal him a D6 hit points. Okay. Is that usually what a healing kit does anyway, no. right? No, that, that, no. no. Okay. Healing kit makes you stabilize someone. Yeah, you can, yeah. Use, you can yeah. use a use of the healer's kit to stabilize somebody if they're, if they're dying. Uh-huh. If you have the healer's uh, feet, you can use it to restore hit points. Okay, that's, that's what I was right. thinking of. Yeah. Yeah. So it specifically says that the healer's kit has three uses remaining. So if somebody goes to zero, you have three uses of the healer's kit to stabilize them. Without okay. making a medicine check. Correct. Yeah. All right. And then the five uh, poultices, each one takes an action and heals a d6 hit points. That's nice. Um, which also uncovers a third mural back oh. there, so... Are you writing on the poultices? Hmm. Perhaps this is a safe... <laughs> Perhaps... How big is the alcove? Is it, like, big enough that we could rest in there and be yeah. even more sheltered? Yeah. Perhaps Certainly. this is a safer place to go. It's a uh, okay. it's a 10-foot wide by 20-foot area that you could all rest okay. in if you want to. Actually, Barricade could, ourselves with the rocks, right? We could probably take a... Ricky thinks we could probably take a nice long rest. Ricky could do some sleeping. We can try. If we can fully close up the wall with the rocks again. Uh, there's also a uh, pot of yellow bioluminescent powder. Okay. Another one. Yes. So now one. we have blue and yellow. Yep, that's correct. We can mix them to make green. Can we paint <laughs> ourselves like Predator style? Yeah. Like, <laughs> and these are legitimately start rubbing that on, that, her, on that. his feathers. Legitimately <laughs> 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 things that Jin thinks like are... Dusting the powder on Jen his feathers. Like Ricky are like pinching each other. <laughs> okay, so so you still, have, you still have your trap. You still have your trap in the hall, right? I do. And then you're gonna uh, five poultices. Wow. And then you guys are gonna barricade yourselves in that alcove where you found uh, um, Algernon's body. Uh, yeah. Yeah. A little yeah. bit of a bit. Yeah. Okay. A bit of barricade in front of the main door. A bit of a barricade in front of the alcove. Um, okay. Yeah. I think we should be good if we set watches. Okay. Yeah. And are you trying to go for a long rest? Yes. Might as well, because, yeah, yeah we're low on... We are yeah. low on resources. At the very least, get the short okay. rest first, right? And then mm-hmm. c- continue for the long rest if things are all quiet by I then, I only need right? to meditate That's, for four yeah. hours. Okay, Good. So, you can take first one. <laughs> just like we used to do in, like, uh, Strahd or anything else, yeah. where this is tricky. So take that short rest, get it, and then mm-hmm. go for long. Yeah. All right, so so you do succeed in taking a long rest. Oh, okay, awesome. so you, okay. Are we long rest? Nice. Yeah. <laughs> do we get max hit points back from when we take? Yes. You do. You do, yeah. Okay. Doink. And, and all your spell slots. And all Yay. our spell slots. And I get the ability to suck them in again. How are your friendos with integrated mold and green moldy wounds doing? <laughs> What's that? <laughs> Is there any change in status for those of us who have mold? <laughs> uh, Rowan's wound uh, does not look any better. Yeah. Uh, does it look worse? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe a little. Uh, it seems the, 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 okay. the fungal lines are a little bit further along your arms. <laughs> Looks extra leaky. Looks extra leaky. Yeah. I think it's it <laughs> Trying to Wait, make why it is it feel. Getting my max hit points is wrong. Yeah, mine did that too. It changed it to seventeen, which yeah. is supposed to be twenty. So I just override the max. Okay, let me uh, let me read you all the descriptions of the three murals. Yeah, because assuming at some point we are going to yeah. examine them. Yeah, yes. Yeah. So. Uh, mural number one. A towering mushroom with black eyes stands over a crowd of cricket creatures. Yellow rain coursing from the mushroom's cap onto the crowd below. The cricket's arms are held in worship, reveling in the yellow rain. Their mouths are open, showering, uh, showing them drinking the ichor, uh, with others eating the flesh from the mushroom's legs. Whoa. The black mountain features prominently in the background. That's nasty. <laughs> mural number two. This mural consists of three panels. In the first, a falling star, a uh, comet tail ablaze, rushes over a crowd of worshippers. In the next panel, the star lands and splits. In the final panel, a shimmering portal opens between the halves of the fallen star. The cricket worshippers dance around it joyously. Mural number three. The enormous mushroom creature is bent over its long mycelium fingers, violently ripping the meteor asunder. The portal, which had been constrained by the meteor, now grows to staggering heights. 
Dark red, green, and yellow lines spring from the portal like an infection covering the world. <laughs> As Rowan looks at the lines, hey, that on looks it. like my arm. <laughs> Ricky will leave this one to the smart people. <laughs> pretty pictures, pretty I'm... pictures. But, thinking, yeah. but Ricky thinking that this is showing the falling of the star. Right. A portal opening and big mushroom thing came through. Crickets like that, and their plan is to finish opening this portal. Finish opening the portal and have the mushroom lord take over the world. <laughs> So these right. uh, these murals are also bioluminescent, like like the one that you found in the secret alcove with the cudgel. All right. They're also bioluminescent. All right. Yeah, Jin is going to study it. Jin's probably going to talk with the whispering children about like, it. Confirm, mm. like, is this them trying the the mushroom lord trying to take over the world? If we change yeah. the murals, will that change their plans? I doubt it. Let's know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to stick my finger in the bioluminescent powder and start like finger painting. <laughs> sure. <laughs> I don't know if we should do that. <laughs> who, who is painting these? That We see the future, but this future hasn't happened yet. It's in process. It could, could be, be plans. Hmm. I mean, I do... Uh, um, I try looking at them, all the stuff in the room with the dagger, just to make sure there's nothing else hidden that we didn't see already. Uh, there is nothing else hidden when you look through the okay. dagger. Yeah. Okay. Can I roll an intelligence check to see if Wit could have, like, a flash of genius? Oh, I'm sorry, what do you mean? Like, like, because I have an idea of what I might say, but I don't think wit would be smart enough. <laughs> sure, make an intelligence check. <laughs> <laughs> he has a unique Good role play. That's always fun. Good role play. It would be a 14. Mm, I said the DC at 15. <laughs> okay, <laughs> then I will not say it. Okay. Um, Ricky is also going to... Do his job and make a circuit of the room or the rest of the room, looking for uh, anything else going on. Just check other, out the room. Yeah, just a, yeah. just a general overview of the room. Make sure there's Jin no other little you. hidden entrances. You're studying so the you're, you're studying murals. Okay. Um, I'll help. Mm. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Very well. Are you doing perception or investigation? <laughs> Can't do everything all at once. Um, I will. This, this you, you can get help from um, from Quinn on either one of yes. those. Um, I will uh, just do general perception. I'm not looking at anything specific. Just okay. Looking uh, for do uh, perception with advantage. With advantage. Where's my other? Yeah, we can Let's use my out fungus the dice for too. this one. Mm-hmm. Oh, good thing. Oh, no, they're thing. both they're both suck. <laughs> One three on the die, so that means I got a five. A uh, five. I don't see shit. <laughs> There's mushrooms and yeah, girls. <laughs> Jin, in the course of this, has probably affixed a couple of the glowing mushrooms to her shoulders just so she has a light source like integrated with her armor. So you look more moldy yes. than before. Yes, she's embracing it at this point. She's just it fits. <laughs> Is she just doing ventriloquism in the room? Is it children voices? <laughs> Ricky's not sure. Ricky's always keeping an eye on her. Right. Well, they were speaking before it integrated with me. Yes. So, you can ask them. <laughs> All right. So, so you have your rest. You've yeah. explored the murals. You've found the body. You got the mushrooms. Yeah. You kind of blocked off that way that you came in, and now there's. I take big, my trap back. Take your trap back, and yeah, um, let's that, trap back. You, you find that that passageway has reopened. Okay. So. Let's figure out the door. Uh, and now there's the door. I think we should go in it. It, it is uh, the the copper door is covered in intricate etchings uh, and lettering and some alien language. Okay. Um, your um, Jin's eyes of the runekeeper feature from uh, from your warlock. Uh, you can see that they serve as warning to all those who would enter. They do so at their own peril. Boy, does it look like fungal writing? <laughs> <laughs> well, Jin would say, you know, this uh, is not anything that should surprise us. It's warning us to enter at our own peril. Yeah. So there, there is a keyhole in the center of the door. Uh-oh. Ricky thinks we should heed that warning. Let's go. Well, yes. We don't seem to have. <laughs> not going the other way. Not going the other way. We're looking for others, correct? What's yes. That? So we are looking for survivors. We're I still think it's unlikely that if they three people the unaccounted key, for, they right. probably didn't get through. Mm-hmm. Agree. Well, what um, if they went through this door? Um. 
Well, then they did so at their own risk, it clearly says. Yes. <laughs> yeah, but... I, I checked to see if the door's open. <laughs> <laughs> this is why we have her. She just keeps things moving. Okay. <laughs> so um, you're trying to open the doorway? Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, so I do too. <laughs> Not the most from true from chaotic, chaotic ignoring <laughs> and neutral. Uh, uh, That's right. You're supposed to be doing more damage. So Wick goes up to the door <laughs> Your staff. and tries to open the door. And uh, a gout of white hot flame uh, oh. erupts from like the seams, like all around the door, all around the seams. Like this white flame shoots out, like psh, all around it. And um, I need you to make a dexterity saving throw. It. Oh boy. <laughs> Wet. <laughs> well, that obviously was a bad idea. <laughs> My name is Wit. I didn't say I had any. <laughs> oh, Wit. Oh, wet. <laughs> That'd be a five, sir. <laughs> oh, lots of singed feathers. <laughs> That's um, gonna smell. <laughs> so you take ten fire damage. Oh, oh no. fried chicken. <laughs> so, Ow. so you see all along the edge of the door where like the flames were coming out of it. It seems to have kind of melted, and it's now like sealed shut. <gasps> oh. Oh. No. Uh oh. Well, that makes that decision easy. <laughs> I guess we're going back where we came from. Mm, I wonder if we were supposed to do that. Wait, do we have to go point. back through? There's no choice. Yeah. A constricting tunnel. We have to go back through. Oh, the constricting. We, we have to doors. dodge I the start acid. Just going along the walls. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, maybe you'll see something I did. Maybe, well, in the yeah. alcove, right? Yeah, let's, let's do a really thorough yeah, search. I, really, for, I, I yeah. literally start, like, looking from, like, here's the door that just yeah. sealed. Can I take a nappy? Can I take a nappy? There's going to be another way out. There has to be another way out. You I might look as for well. Any, I, start, I just start, start searching. Like we're going to uh, be searching for options. For any for other hour. option than to go back through the in, the fungal intestines with the with the. <laughs> With like the little, with the I, understand. I understand. <laughs> I give you the healing potion. Uh, <laughs> You're just gonna pour it down my beak. <laughs> that, so that's two, that, that, that was a that was a D10 fire, and I rolled. I could roll the one, but I rolled a ten. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, you got the healing potions for her to roll. Yeah, 2d4 plus four. Yeah. Yes, you, you, have, plus two. you have two potions, and you also have the poultices. The, the herbal postuses. That oh, was she fine. says you just downed a potion. Yeah, oh, okay, I gave her fine. one, so I'll take that out of my inventory. I don't know if this poultice works on feathered creatures. <laughs> so that's three. That's two d four plus four. Plus two. Two. Three, four, five. So heal back five of it. I'm not bloody any more. on her. That'll probably get her the rest of the way. Really so, so we're yeah. on. Um, you're, you're you're trying. Uh, very intently to try to find some other way to not have to go back and through. And I'm helping him. Yeah. Um, so in your in your investigation of this area, um, you do and check out the door. And even though the door is sealed, you think that with enough strength that it could possibly be forced open. Um, that is the only possible way out of this room other than the constricting tunnel is that you might be able to force the door. Okay, so I've done the whole room thing. Whole room. Come back to the door. Yep. So it's so it's either that we try to touch this door and force it open, or go back through the way we came. Would those of us with magical knowledge be able to sense if, if, if this is this a one and done trap, or do we risk getting shot with fire again if we try to force the door once he shares that? No, I mean, like it was sealed. Yeah, it's yeah. The, the fire melted the edges of the door and now it's sealed. Okay. So this is I mean, the, so the area all, that the fire came out of is no longer correct. an area. We could correct. all attempt to push it together. That's a combined meta. That's a combined strength check. That's probably yeah. our best chance is to have yeah. everybody push all at once. You yeah. can do that. There are, yeah. All I think right. we, I think we talked about it. So we all roll individual. Uh, hold on, no, hold on. Um, so, so Strength check is usually everybody rolls and you total it. 12, yeah. 28, 36, 46, 56. Oh, okay. is this a stat-based one? Yeah, generally these kinds of uh, challenges, if you're doing a combined strength... Does your body have a... Does your is, party you have a add, score? Yeah. Yeah, okay. If they have a total score, that passes a certain is it threshold. 60 gotcha. or an 80 or a 100, okay. right? Okay, which right. are not a super strong party. Um, you, you, guys, you guys got over over 50 okay. um, with, your, with your total combined strength. Um so with all of you pressing on the door at the same time, you can see that it's starting to like crack and slide and move a little bit around the edges where it's sealed. Mm-hmm. 
and eventually you do manage to force the door so there's like a five foot space okay. on one side of the door okay it basically comes loose from the hinges it cracks and it the breaks whole frame cracks yeah, the whole, the whole yeah. frame cracks and breaks and you manage to slide it just far enough that you can get somebody see through. the runes on the oh. far side for the trap that we tripped mm-hmm. we we <laughs> tripped <Yeah>. we tripped, <laughs> we tripped. Uh, you, you, you can see in your torchlight that like on the wall on the other side of the door there's burn marks yeah. From the same flame. <laughs> Jin side eyes you. <laughs> <laughs> it's all good. I love it. It just hangs his beak. <laughs> I still love Wood's role play. It's awesome. <laughs> Medicaid is super interesting. I, I, she keeps triggering all the traps yeah. and the fun things. <laughs> She's pressing all the buttons. <laughs> Quinn gives him the zero well, here, buddy. And in Wit's defense, Jin touched the curtain and is now moldy. So, you know. <laughs> so you all know, I have a feature because of my class and stuff called Strength of the Grave. Um, so if I get hit with magic, uh, when I'm damaged and reduced to zero hit points, as long as it's not radiant or from a critical hit, I can. I have the option to try and make a saving throw. Um, to reduce me down to one hit point instead oh. of zero. So it's kind of like okay. uh, a little bit like similar to a bar- the feature. barbarian yeah. feature. Yeah. Okay. Or the um, uh, cool. Uh, what is it? Is that undead fortitude? Yes. Yeah. Yes. But uh, it, I have to make yeah, a charisma yeah. saving throw of okay. DC five plus the damage taken. I mean, you're you're pretty charismatic. Oh, exactly. so. Yeah. <laughs> so I. There is somewhat of a reason <laughs> that Wit is being the... <laughs> that I'm a little less than <laughs> scared of death. <laughs> I mean, Jin... Yeah. Jin's not really... <laughs> just <get> monsters. <laughs> Besides the fact that I'm dumb as a box of rocks. <laughs> dumb as the rocks that I peck off the ground. <laughs> wow. Okay. So... Uh, okay. Let's see. Should have named myself Hey Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Flavor yourself as a rooster folk. <laughs> right. <laughs> so um, there is a staircase leading down. How wide is the staircase? The staircase appears to be 10 feet wide. 10 feet wide. Okay. Yep. Well, Two I guess I'm us. back on point. Yep. And me. Okay. Unless she wants to be on I'll stay in the middle, thanks. <laughs> Stuck in the middle behind. with me. Last. Sure, I can do last. You guys second. bring up rear the rear flank again. together. Well, we can make it like a two, one, two. Yeah, that's probably the good formation to have because we block things from getting in on our sides. Okay. We... All right, so you go down the stairs, and uh, the passageway uh, turns to the west, and it becomes a five foot wide passage to the west. Ooh. All right, I guess I'm even more on point. <laughs> <laughs> Dang, another five foot wide passage. Um, you eventually get to an intersection where it continues west or it goes south. So, which way would you like to go? Um, let's see. In my torchlight, even though I have dark vision, um, <laughs> before you ask that, I'm going to ask: Is there stuff covering this yes. passageway? Yep. No, oh, it's all fungally. So we're still fungally. Everything's still fungal. I mean, still we fungal. could be burning yeah. the fungally if we want, although it would draw attention. We've got enough uh, free. I am, well, we have free. Like we that. don't yeah. know for sure yeah. that all the fungally is burnable. Right? Yeah, I, I am still wielding the torch. Uh, yeah, it's just, I mean, the fungus is all over. It's all, it's yeah. over almost every single surface in these cave systems. So we have two characters with at will Eldritch Blast and one with Sacred Flame. So we've done that. We've actually burned some of the bodies we found that were contaminated with mold because we didn't want to risk them following us. When they when they were above when they were above ground, yeah, firebolt, not they, sacred. They found firebolt, some sorry. they found some bodies buried under these snow mounds, mm-hmm, yeah. and they were like twitching and moving with that oh, fungal yeah, stuff. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 they were. The, yeah, they had fungus and they were twitching and thing. moving. Yeah, yeah they had fungus like yours and they were twitching and moving. Yeah, we but dead. But dead. <laughs> like yours. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. Sure. <laughs> we did burn the dead ones. Yes. Yeah. Okay. I'm alive. I'm alive, I'm alive, I'm alive. I don't want to go with the car. I don't want to go with the car. So, west or south? Um, <laughs> I'm going to Continue where attempt, we're going? Or? I'm going to yeah. attempt to perf- uh, perceptify... Um, actually, can I make a uh, survival check to see if there's anything like... Any kind Attract. of indication yeah. of... Yeah, yeah absolutely. Passage. Absolutely. 
Um, yeah, if you can squeeze up here. I mean, I can. I'm right next to you. Oh, oh, Somebody will. Yeah, she'd be trying to help you with whatever we're stop. doing. What's happening? She's proficient okay. in survival to boot, so. Okay. Yeah. Um, are you really good Two at it? Two ways to go. I'm Two ways to go. Two ways to go. Go the least fungally one. <laughs> are, you, are you particularly wise? Um... <laughs> Low key was plus zero. I like have yeah, super dark say, vision, so, so I can yeah. see. Oh, really? yeah, I have my clear dagger, so I'm looking through to see if there's anything okay. intriguing through that to try and help you judge this. Yeah, you lift it up. There's a ghost right here. <laughs> <laughs> my dice hate me today. Eight. Eight. You know, Maybe I should start. It, it, it's, <laughs> it, it's hard to see any kind of tracks or anything in the mossy covered floor. That was with advantage. <laughs> that was with advantage. Barf. I rolled a four and a six. Oh. Uh, uh, none of my dice want to play today. All right. Mine have uh, not been awesome either. It's, uh, I mean, do I see anything like with the dagger down either that looks different? Uh, you do not. No. no. Okay. I think that was like okay. uh, worth a try. All right. Um. Otherwise, I'd vote we keep going where we're going. That's kind of been our philosophy so far: is keep going the direction we started in. Yeah, but all the, yeah. we find the good things when we don't do that. No, we're good. Chatter. Um, we can go Ricky. south or west. Ricky wants to go that. Ricky wants to go south. So. South. Uh, That's where Ricky. You're in the lead, so. Uh, oh, okay, I'm, Ricky turns south. Okay. Fine. <laughs> All right, south. Yes, Even though there. they go south, I go west. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> Don't split the party. The people behind you are like. <laughs> <laughs> I start to go the wrong way and. <laughs> Grabs on your tail. Okay. So. Uh, hey, wait, I think there's bugs here, down this way. Uh, bugs? <laughs> here there is a small underground lake. Ooh. The surrounding chamber glows with the eerie light of the bioluminescent algae that floats upon its surface. Strange and otherworldly carvings cover the chamber, worn smooth by the passage of time. The walls and ceiling glitter with a dense covering of white stalactites, and a trio of statues stand silent vigil on a narrow strip of, of the shore. Mm, can you give me a description of the statues? I can certainly do that. Shiny uh, things. Ooh, very uh, cool track. <laughs> let's see. All right, the three statues. Here we go. Um, the leftmost figure is a quadrupedal fish-like monstrosity carved of white marble. Its gaping mouth is lined with rows of razor-sharp teeth. Uh, on the far right, crafted of jade, is the tall figure, uh, is a tall figure of a fleshy mushroom with a broad cap and long limbs. The central figure is a humanoid car- uh, carved of obsidian. Its features weathered and difficult to discern. It holds an oddly shaped collection plate with four ancient coins. Ooh, money! Are the coins part of the statue or are they actual coins? No, they're coins. Ricky's starting to think that fungus didn't come from Portal. Hmm. Uh, they said it broke through into the caves. It may have been here all along. The portal is probably something to allow the Lord through, but the, the Vanguard the, may have been here for a long time, um, waiting to be activated. So, the, the entrance hall that you were just in mm-hmm. doesn't quite seem to fit the theme. Mm. Okay. Just so you're aware. But we like still it felt have fungus, uh, but from we have his a description, it felt like it didn't. Yeah, I, I just yeah. I, I want. It was very different for, from everything else for, we've been in. For, for the characters, for the players mm-hmm. who might not really understand it, the, the entrance hall um, seemed a little different than was everything this else. The room? Yeah, I, yeah, the room where I did pick up on that, yeah. and the murals out there seem to be kind of painted on relatively recently. Correct. But here right. we've just come across a very old statue of a fungus. True. Mm-hmm. That is true. <laughs> right. Does it look like maybe that the room and the door that shot fire out was a way of sealing something in and, and making it so it wouldn't get unleashed? You're not sure because the trap seemed to hit both sides of the door. Uh-oh. So. It would have sealed it if you had somebody tried to come up from the, from, oh, from the stairs. No. We just did a bad thing. Uh, <laughs> at least we can fix it. Oh. No, we can't fix it. <laughs> <laughs> we kind of broke it. 
Did I do that? <laughs> we can attach ropes and try to pull it back into place, but it would never seal the Or we can purge this place of evil. <laughs> so where is uh, this? So, so Rowan, um, did you take a closer, a closer look at the coins to, to see that there were coins? Yeah, I definitely went over yes, and looked you to did. see we if they are. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. So underneath the coins, uh, there, is an, there is an X uh, carved crudely into the middle of the plate. Between all four coins. Mm-hmm. I'd be leery about removing And your, your passive perception is 13. 13. Um, so you see this X in the bottom yeah. of the... Uh, bottom of take the, a closer look. Yeah. yeah. And um, the thought occurs to you that, that the shape of the bowl looks kind of like the lake. Oh. So if we, how, how big and deep is the lake? Like, can we possibly see X's through the water if we... No, it's, I it's mean... It's covered in algae. It's covered, yeah. it's covered in glowing algae. Glowing algae. Yeah. <sighs> so there may be something... But Bioluminescent I, algae floats upon its surface. There may be a mirror place to put coins or get coins at the bottom of the lake, but do we really want to send someone down there when one of these statues is a fish monster? I go look at the fish monster closely. Oh, yes, Quinn was going to say. Does it look like yeah. a really detailed statue? Where is the fish? Like something that got it. petrified? The leftmost figure is a quadrupedal fish-like monstrosity carved of white marble. Its gaping mouth is lined with rows of razor-sharp teeth. Um, that could be petrified. Petrified turns things into marble, doesn't it? Is there a picture? Four legs. I'm having a hard, really hard time imagining this as I'm thinking of a horse shark. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, the only picture is this is a tiny little notation on this on this like world map that yeah. Casey wrote. Mm-hmm. Um, it just it kind of looks like a kind of looks like a like a like a um, a frog. It looks like a big frog. I'm, big, I'm, shark teeth. Frog. I'm only imag- I'm just imagining a fish with teeth and yeah. four legs. Yeah. yeah. Okay. That's what I'm imagining. Right. Yeah, but the legs is what's the problem. Like, are they like? They just kind of stick oh, out, come out the side. Oh, they're, they're, so they're like frog, frog legs. Frog yeah, they're frog legs. legs. Now yeah. I get it. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. more amphibian. Got it. Um, um, so I'm, I'm going to say that with your perception that you also notice that around the central statue, um, there is a ring of discoloration around the central statue's head. Like maybe something was there. It's this, it's this ring of discoloration around the central figure's head. Like, as in the room has been flooded that high before, and that's a watermark? No. It doesn't it's look more like, like there was something on the head. Like there was something on the head. Like, like a, a sucker? sucker? Oh, like a crown. Or, I'm thinking more of like a crown. It was there long enough to leave a discoloration in the rock. Mm. Um, I wonder if someone in the, the party room. recovered an artifact and mm. is in the bottom of the lake. Mm. I'm going to go look at the mushroom. The mushroom statue. Mm-hmm. Okay. While they're doing uh, that, yeah, I want to investigate the the algae. Okay, hold on one sec. Um, so, eyes of the room keeper, Kate? Yeah. For for your uh, warlock thing? Yep. Uh, the carvings in the chamber walls, um, the, there are passages written in the same hieroglyphic language that you find at the mounds. Okay. Uh, and... Uh, let's see. Read the finds that the passages are their various prayers and blessings and appeals to uh, Xylophos, Mycelorax, and Umbacron. <laughs> Xylophos. Xylophos, Mycelorax, and Umbacron. Umbacron, I'm guessing that's the and black. Fitch. The Onyx one Ooh, and my sealer axe. Okay, so it appears we now various, have uh, various prayers and blessings. Pantheon of three gods and, in this and room. names for our statues. Names mm-hmm. for our statues. Hmm. Um, I'm gonna take a coin. Okay. I am going to ready my bow. It just comes out. And I touch the X mark. Nothing happens. Are well, the coins already on the X marks? It's one single X. Oh. What if we stop? Uh, yeah, not, uh, nothing happens. You pick up the coins. It, it just it's it's this very. Were they specifically coins. like or like in the voids of the X? No. Okay. No, they no. 
What if we stack them up all on top of the X? Okay. I stack them. Nothing happens. Mm -hmm. Is there okay. anything special about the coins? Anything on them? Distinguishing marks? Let's see. Not that Wit's paying much attention. There's shiny things in the room, so... I mean, they seem like they might be worth some money. They seem um, to be made of... Uh, doesn't actually say what they're made of, but it says they're worth 50 gold each. Ooh, collectors. <laughs> So yeah. it's a collection plate. We should go back to the thought of. Uh, and it just says for ancient the bowl ancient looks coins. Like the room. Mm. Like the lake. And yeah, and if the X maybe marks something under the water that we need to go look at. Well, who among us that's is skilled at swimming? This is concerning. The bird apparently. <laughs> Jesus. I'm the only one people. that made the check on oh. the lake. <laughs> Where did the bird go? The the oh, Just yeah. as we did oh, yes. before. Oh yeah. Oh, swimming. <laughs> can we? Time for a swim. Time for a swim. Shiny lake. Swim. Shiny lake. Can we, <laughs> can we mage hand something? Oh, why is that? We have to see it. Uh, we can't see the bottom. Got it. Yeah, yeah cause, because of the glowing bioluminescent algae. Mm. I mean, we could inspect the algae just to be sure we're not going to get taxed in a second. Well, yeah, probably not a bad idea. idea. I feel like there's okay. something in there. With Why, the algae? Ricky, how does the algae respond to the torch? <laughs> and uh, perhaps our friend could move the torch over the water with a I don't want to. I don't tool. want to get the torch wet. We have some with each hand, and we have a whole bunch of torches in our packs. So, yeah. and I'm wearing glowing mushrooms, so it's not like no. we're going to lose all of our light. Now, Ricky, Ricky just is just going to kneel down to the water and push. The algae? The algae yeah, aside. Touch it. <laughs> yeah. it okay, it just kind of kind of moves. And see if I can... How does the water look underneath it? Is it like murky? Is it it's, it's, it's pretty murky. It's yeah. kind of murky. Mm, yep. Okay. Don't you know, don't go near the water. Yeah. I'm going to take one of the mushrooms off of Jin's shoulder and <laughs> throw it in the water. Bloop. <laughs> can we see it float yeah, do down? Yes. The glow? yes, you do. Yeah. Okay. Does it give us any estimation of like how deep it is? How deep is on uh, Where do you throw it in relation to the shore? Um. <laughs> however far I can. Hock it. it. How big okay. is the lake? Like twenty forty? Like what's the diameter? Uh, let's see. Is it a pond? If it's scaled on like a, a a collection mole, right? I'm hoping it's not a monstrous huge lake, but. I'm Wait, are we in I mean, this it's thing's in a hands? cave, right? It's a cistern. So, uh, the lake itself. Let's not talk about cisterns, okay? okay? <laughs> I got it. I got it. This room is on like three pages, four pages here. Ooh, it's uh, uh, the lake itself is fifty feet across. Oh, okay. That's not terrible. I mean, I do you want to do some sort of roll to see how far I can chuck it? No, no. I I would say that if you chuck it in the middle of of the lake, yeah. uh, you would probably guess that it goes down. Um, well, you check it in the middle of the lake, and then you can't really see anything because uh, it, it clears some of the algae when it hits, yeah. and you see it start to go down. Mm -hmm. But then, like the algae, all you see is glowing algae now <laughs> on yeah. the surface of the, of the lake. Uh, so, if we clear the algae out of the way, could we see <laughs> the glow okay. from where we are? Um, I'll, I don't want to belabor the point. I'll, I'll, I'll say, yeah, I'll say you can see it kind of glowing like dimly. Somewhere in Since it's murky, I'm yeah. guessing it. You know, it's like yeah. seeing a lighthouse in the yeah. fog. Like you, you, you would guess that maybe it's like um, twenty or thirty feet deep, maybe. Mm. Okay. Okay, that's not too bad. At least there's no current here. The question is, is do, do, do the coins need to get to something on the bottom if there is something on the bottom? Oh, well, the coins going? could simply we, just be like just offerings. Coins. Yeah. You know, and kind yeah, of like we're, an we're guessing. Plate. We're, it's it's all guesswork until we see what's down there. Well, are we sending someone with a rope or a couple of ropes? Well, the algae security? doesn't look dangerous, so... Uh... Wait for the rope. Wait for the rope. <laughs> <laughs> I, I paused. I gave you guys a chance. <laughs> yeah. So I got to tie on a rope. <laughs> At the end of the line. <laughs> they tie a rope ropes. around my foot. <laughs> Two I'm gonna waste. Yeah. Around my waist, yeah, and I'm gonna three poles okay. if you need okay. us to pull back. Yeah, there is precedent for wet not waiting for the rope. <laughs> 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 the previous adventures. Uh, uh, yeah, that three. Uh, okay. Two, two poles if you need someone down there. Three poles if you need someone to pull you up. Immediately. Yeah. Okay. So you put the rope around wit. Wit 
disappears under the surface of the water. And that's where we'll end for this session. Oh, no! You're going to have to hold your breath for two weeks. Dag nabbit. Sorry, listeners. <laughs> so, so let's do some stars and wishes. This is a new one. For Kyle. <laughs> um, yeah, so for Kyle. Uh, stars and Wishes. Essentially, um, you don't have to say anything, but if there's something you liked, give it a star. If there's something that you think we could improve on, you can say that as a wish. It's, just a, wish. A way, it's yep. just a chance to do some feedback. Yep. Stars are highlights. Wishes are like things you'd like to see for the players or the game yeah. itself. Or... Okay. Yes. And wishes so, are things that could be better. So stars, yeah. so the long description of stars is something you liked about the session. Examples include amazing roleplay, great character moments, amazing DM descriptions, the feeling you had at a certain moment, uh, another player's generosity, a mechanic of a game that really sang, and wishes, something you would like to see happen in a future session. Examples include something you want to see happen with your own character, an interaction you'd love to see between two characters, a mechanic you would like to see come into play that you haven't seen yet, uh, places you hope the story go, and just in general, like feedback over on stuff. I so. always like it when Chris does his lady voices. So, Greg, do you have any stars and or wishes? Um, I say the stars are... I'm liking where this is going. It seems very creepy, though. Um, <laughs> I think it's the point. Uh, <laughs> and... I think um, role play is still good with all of us, so we're playing our parts and doing our thing. And I don't really have any wishes. Okay. Like, John, do you have any stars and or wishes? Uh, stars. I like the fight. Um, it was uh, what it was not just a slugfest. It was wonderfully tactical to okay. try to okay. get through that. All right. Um, I understand why we didn't have a map for that, but I think it would help. Just okay. Sh- for anybody who runs the module in the future, map mm-hmm. helps for that. Yeah, I mean, I, I've chosen to do theater of the mind, but if we had used the yeah. maps and minis, that would have been easier for that part. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, that's about it. I okay. Mean, yeah. Kyle, do you have any stars and wishes? Um, stars. I love the creepy armor whispering <laughs> children thing. Yeah. I love the I'm going to touch all the shiny things. <laughs> the hell with the consequences. <laughs> so yeah, that was great. The, uh, the the adventure. I like the the tone of it. The the fungus and the you know we're in the. I just was thinking we're inside the intestines of some giant fungal being and peristalsis sure, sure. is happening and there's worms in the intestines. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> uh, wishes, I want to get this fungus off my back. <laughs> okay. uh, Kate, do you have any stars and no wishes? Um, I mean, I love the continued role play dynamic of the party. It, yep. it is hilarious. Everyone else playing their parts really well. It's great. Kyle, <laughs> welcome. And it's been good with the yeah. addition. Nice. So <laughs> that is fun. Uh, I, I'll second that I really liked the tension in that fight and okay. how kind of complex it was. And I, I love like the just more of the world building, like okay. all the scene setting with the art and the carvings. And I'm yeah, still trying to figure out where all the pieces fit. Sure. Uh, wishes that my dice maybe don't suck as bad next time. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, Sarah, do you have any stars and or wishes? Um, stars. I'm really glad to have Kyle at the table today. Oh, yeah, I'll, you, I'll second you. that one. Yeah, yeah. Just, yeah. <laughs> definitely. Yeah. Always nice to have another. Yeah, I love being able yeah, to come. Personality at the table. It's refreshing. <laughs> um, not that I don't love you guys, but I play with you all the time. <laughs> um. <laughs> I also thought Ricky did a really good job this oh, this week. Um, <laughs> very much took on that fighter personality of taking charge of the party and being like, "We're doing this. <laughs> Come on, time to go. go. Just time to go. Um, Enough discussion. Let's go." <laughs> <laughs> and not like hemming and hawing over whether we should make that decision. Yeah. Like I very much appreciated that. Um, wishes. I don't know if I have many wishes. That's okay. You don't have to. Um, I'm very excited to see what happens with the fungus on Rowan's back. <laughs> oh, no. Do we, do we get Kyle back in two weeks? That's Kyle probably... I believe so. Well, that, oh, that okay. depends on if Kyle wants to play. Yeah, yeah. I believe so. I, I have to so? send it to my calendar. But yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Um, yeah. And I wish there was more bugs. I wish there was more bugs. <laughs> <laughs> well... <laughs> Yes. Wit, wit is who he is. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, Kyle, this, this adventure 
I'm not exactly sure how many more sessions is going to go, but it might go like three or four sessions, which is like another couple of months on every other Sunday if you're available. Uh, we'd love to have you. Um, yeah, no, if I can make it, I will be here. <laughs> okay. All right. Um, Next, and I think in two Sundays I am available, and it's on my calendar already. So okay. Okay. Yeah. okay. That's okay. If you can't make it, we'll just kill you off. Well, yeah, I, 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 see, like, I, see, what, I see what happens if I don't show up. My head's going to open up, and I'm right going to sprout now. funguses. <laughs> that does not seem pleasant. <laughs> Suspended animation. <laughs> uh, so, so my stars are also having my good friend Kyle, who I've known for like 30 years, uh, come and play. That was really cool. Um, I, I, I'm not surprised they're that Wit went into the lake. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not surprised that Wit touched the door. <laughs> and, and I really like that stuff. Uh, I thought everybody did great. You role do playing. like damaging me. I do. <laughs> um, and and I, I still like running the adventure. It's a fun adventure to run. Um, there's definitely getting down deeper into the tunnels. It's a little bit harder to to track all the stuff that is written in here. Um, but I think I'm keeping up with it all right. Except for there were some things. That this might be kind of a wish is that uh, I maybe I wish that I had tracked some of the stuff in that fight a little better. But but I say that I say that sparingly because in that fight in the hallway, um, there were a couple things that I forgot to do. One of which was damage resistance on the creatures, oh. which I think would have made that way harder. And I'm kind of I'm happy with the way that the fight worked out with me messing that part up. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to know what it would have been like if I hadn't messed that part up. Um, that might be a little bit of a critique. I mean, again, it's an OSR adventure, so maybe it's supposed to be that hard. Mm-hmm. Um, but you guys mostly use magical attacks anyway. It only really would have affected Kyle. Okay. Um, but so I, I like the way the fight worked out. It worked out just great. And I think that that, that pit that, that Ricky fell into that then poisoned Jin, um, <laughs> it's a little bit unclear to me on the map like if that's supposed to be part of the fight or not. Mm-hmm. Like if that's supposed to affect the fight. We because supposed to trip into it as be, we're running be, away. Yeah, and yeah. like if they were supposed to like follow you out and the fact that you were poisoned would have been relevant. I mean, maybe that's just me mm-hmm. not understanding the adventure well enough. Um, but I, I wish I had a better understanding of how that was supposed to work because you get out of the tunnel yeah. and then I'm like, oh, there's this pit trap that poisons somebody. I'm like, is this supposed to happen during the fight? So I'm not quite sure if I really I mean, I'd ask what would have right. happened if the hallway had fully closed on us, but it might be relevant in the future. So yeah, yeah, it, it might. With damage resistance, so, yeah, I don't think we would have made it out in six rounds. Yeah, I, and, and maybe that's some gentle feedback for Jeff, yeah. you know, for, yeah. for the adventure. Um, but, but I still, I mean, I like the way it worked out. It took, it took a good amount of time. It had a good tension. There was good teamwork. I really liked the way it worked out, even though I may have messed some part of it up. So I, I still like I was legit I worried we weren't going to get out of there in six rounds. <laughs> and that's not something that I often worry about in a, in a game. Because I'm used to it being like four rounds or less. Like, yeah. we'll, we'll be done. It wasn't a wide, a wide <laughs> like, open battlefield, right? Um, always, yeah. yeah. Well, and naturally, too, is like I was concerned like when... He fell in the hole. It's like, oh, okay. Does that mean that that's the end of him? Like, you know, are we like, gonna lose our only fighter? <laughs> <laughs> so it's like all of these things have consequences. So it's like, you know, what's the level of consequence in yeah. terms of, you know, for the characters? For sure. Yeah, I like the way that fire worked out, just the way it was. That that's totally cool. Yeah. Yeah, when Ricky comes back, he is definitely going to have a phobia of fungi. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's say good night to the listeners. Good night, everyone. Good night, everyone. Good night, everyone. Good night, everyone. If you enjoyed this podcast, please leave us a review anywhere this podcast can be found. Our social media links, plus additional content, can be found on our website at knightsofroleplay.com. Please tell your friends about Knights of Roleplay, an adventuring podcast, and spread the word through social media. Your help and support are greatly appreciated. (laughs) 